Welcome back to Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, everyone. I've started up a fresh dwarf here, and it looks like it's put me in a little box. <laughs> Let's go see what's outside the box. Just a random robe in case I want to swap colors or something. I've got Foxfire, right? And I've got three magic points. So pretty much your classic fire mage start here. Oh, give me back my magic points? Wait, why is this not... First thing. I thought you doing what? I confused. Why is my resting key not working? I'm gonna have to shake on that. Also, I want only oh, I'll leave the jackals for now. And I'll come back for those. I don't know why my resting key wasn't working. I was definitely pressing it. And that quark is the most dangerous thing here because it's faster than me. <laughs> there we go. Uh, oh, I've got numb lock on. That's why my resting key is not working. I wonder how that one ended up on. It always uh, stuffs things up for some reason. I'm not sure why it even takes care of that one, but it does apparently. Alright, let's put on the helmet. Uh, skin moving back it hasn't noticed me yet. And I can get my magic points back around that corner somewhere. Hey, second level, that's when I get Scorch, which I think the attributes here aren't perfect, or the um, attributes here aren't perfect for the Fire Magic. Actually, plus two is pretty perfect. My uh, two is spellcasting is not the best. I might put a limit on some of these things, actually, because I haven't put a limit on anything yet. Um, I'm running Conjuration to 10. I might bring Fire Magic to, like, whoops, like, um, 12 for now. I can decide later on what's a better limit, but 12 for now is not too bad. Ooh, potion shop. I might be able to buy myself some kind of potion. Let's take a look. So we've got Trash and Berserk Brilliance. Brilliance is nice. Cancellation Enlightenment. I mean, uh, actually, Enlightenment's nice as well. Oh, disgust. Right, this is just a yak pack, uh, not yak pack, um, jackal pack from the other side, except there's still one left. And I'm kind of running out of magic points here, there we go. And I might unexclude that now, because I've probably fought every last jackal there. Oh wait, I should have grabbed that dagger, shouldn't have I? Um, I should go do that now, because I don't think I've got, like, uh, any kind of weapon. And my first one, you're going to do, like, two damage. And what's this one do? It does 4 damage, yes. It's basically double damage. It's probably better accuracy as well, because Unarmed really does need skill, but it can get kind of good. Also, I should remember that this character can wear heavier armor being a dwarf. They can wear... Like, they get rid of, um, what is it, half the encumbrance? So you get one quarter of the spellcasting penalty or something. So in theory, I could put on some scale mill or something at some stage. That's the plan anyway, to go reasonably heavy on my armor, but... So it usually takes like a little while to get going because these spellcasting chances. Actually, 5% on Foxfire, 4% on the uh, Scorch. For saying that was about the high chances, I guess the uh, Fire Magic is so much better than my Conjuration. That's actually kind of funny. I think of good early game armor. The Ring Mail is usually some pretty good early game armor in terms of like the um, evasion penalty versus the armor class it gives. Might give it a try right now, see if I can cast it. I might be able to. I am a dwarf. Oh yeah, 7% failure. That's not bad. I might just wear it. Ooh, faded altar. Um, I'm actually not sure what god I was going to go with. Let's take a look at this. For humans, a level on Bjorg. Bjorg wouldn't work very well. A level on for human would both be fine. Um, no, I don't think I will. I think I wait for a proper altar. Yeah, I mean, the problem with Bjorg is, well, the challenges can beat you up, so they're not the best for a streak. But also, the orcs aren't protected from your own spells, so it's really easy just to hit them with something. I don't think they get mad at you, but it's still not great. Oh, another one of these ones. I probably don't have enough magic points, so I'll give it a try. 
<laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I guess another staircase it is. Oh, whoops. Don't stop out fox by immediately. That was the wrong key, obviously. Kind of funny how you can just stack as much fox fire as you like around yourself. Well, I guess there's a little bit of uh, eight fox fire around you, although it does spread out fairly quick. So I don't know if you'd ever hit that or not. Probably not. Maybe if you're hasted. And you've also got to be careful with the fox fire of not standing on your own fox fire. Like, if I stepped back there, I'd crush that fox fire or something. This thing is what happens. Uh, it's not a usually big problem, but it can be a problem in corridors for now because you can't swap places with it or anything. Ooh, what's that dag of tension? I, oh, I guess I'll take it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'll ever use it, but it is plus one. It is protection, so it's better than the old backup weapon I had. Uh, why just stand in here? That's a good spot for the fox file, though I guess I could have got back into the corridor and scorched. Though I'm not sure I actually had enough magic points for that. It's, uh, scorched is a pretty good spell, but it does take two magic points to cast, so... I've already got eight magic points, I go through it pretty quick. Let's give it a try, though. Oh, that dude's throwing something at me. Uh, they javelins. I might go grab them, but I'll probably never use them. Might be good when I run the magic points. Uh, scorch this guy up. There we go. It can be kind of nice to scorch someone and then fox fire them because uh, scorch gives them vulnerability to fire and then they die a lot better. <laughs> uh, anything new? So there's inner flame, volatile blast modes, and eventually a flame wave. I'll get the flame wave, but it's 45% failure. <clears throat> so I won't be casting that for. A little while now. Uh, nice gosh, this guy's too far away, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. I feel like trying to rest should take you out of those webs, um, because you actually have to manually get yourself out of the web before you go rest. At least that's uh, the, usually the best idea, so you're not stuck in it. Oh, I'll just scotch these dudes. There we go. Whoa, two adders. Um. All right. Ah, uh, hit once. Definitely get the shield going here from the protection. Um, I've got a Kiorari. I might actually just throw that one. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, it's a good thing I had lots. Hey, Sally, how's it going this morning? How have you been? How have your games been going? I noticed on uh, Discord that someone like did a query of who had the highest win rate this year, and I noticed that you've been winning so far. That's pretty impressive. What was it, around... I think it was over 90% or something win rate this year. I might just go up. Get some magic points before I blow this dude up. All right, gloves. Plus one, even. That's nice. Um, Do I have scrolls to read? I do. I've got six scrolls here. That's actually a lot. I should go to the staircase and read one, see what I've got. Oh, teleport. I might just go up. <laughs> hey, that's, a, that's the reason I want the staircase, right? So I can just go up and just teleport. It's good to have teleport, though. What else do I think? So I have three of something. Hmm. Well, I'll have to wait on that one, see see what it is. I could just read it, actually. I've got five or something? That's probably identified. Let me go back to my staircase. Although it's not going to be teleport because I've already identified that one, but I'll still go back to my staircase and read it. There we go. Identify. Uh, i got to find curing, so I'll try the potion first. It's degen. That's a shame. I got, I'll do the scroll I've got two of. Um, ooh, chant armor. Put on my gloves. <laughs> Um, in fact, I might put one of those on my gloves, make them plus two gloves. All right, what else do I have? I'll do a potion. So, got some brosia there. Got some enlightenment. Oh, good. Although, I could actually buy that from someone and identify it that way. And mutation. Speaking of buying things, actually. Oh, that's the wrong key. Should I go buy? I should go buy some of these things. Get them identified. That's a good idea. 
But I probably should have bought them before I read some of those identifiers. Uh, should I just buy the Atragium to get... Nah, I'll buy another Brilliance. I don't think I'll worry about that one. Oh, he just finished uh, No Enchanter of a Faded Altar, Ligonu. He left uh, in Zod a few days ago. Nice. No Enchanter. Did you uh, do much enchanting? I've never found my Knolls... Uh, well, not Knolls. My enchanters end up doing a lot of enchanting. They always um, give up and do something else, which I guess with a Knoll is actually fairly easy to do, right? You can just trivially give up and do something else because you'll... Well, actually, not trivially. It takes a little while for the other Knoll skills to catch up, doesn't it? Because your starter ones are so high. But 3 AC, but minus 4.5 evasion. That doesn't seem that worthwhile right now. And uh, the actual stabbing people wasn't too bad early on. I grabbed the staff. It is cold resist. Um, it's not quite what I need as a fire mage, but hey, it is cold resist. Oh, wait, plus three ring mail. That's nice. This is when I really get the advantage from being a dwarven cast. I can just put on the ring mail and not worry about it. It's encumbrance as much. Oh, not really, but you did end up using a quick blade of distortion, so there were a few stabs. Nice. I mean, it'd be interesting with the whole flinging enemies away, but it sounds like it should be a good weapon. Ooh, blinking. Uh, he's got Holy Wrath. I think he's a bit tough. Hold on, how many hit points does Edmund have? About 44. Got nine magic points. Hmm. That sounds very questionable. Let's just get back here. Yeah, I don't think I could uh, scorch him to death or anything. Alright. This is a very nice plot for a staircase. Just bring out one creature because there's walls around both sides. I think at some stage I was like to man, uh, meaning to try a quick blade of distortion, see how it goes, because this area sounds really good for balancing people. Um, oh. I don't have like an emulation scroll in some fire resist, do I? I don't think so. I might just have to back up here. But it'd be a perfect spot to emulate. Okay. Ah, uh, I gotta go up, don't I? Shame, because I won't be able to kill the ogre that way. Is that the, that's the wrong one, isn't it? That's the Edmund one. Okay, we can take the fresh staircase. That was probably a good idea. Oh, it's really funny with Manifold Assault, but you had to stop using it when you found a great artifact shield. Right, um, I guess it's a... Wait, it's a no. How hard is it to get Manifold Assault going these days as a no? Like, would you have to go to extend it, or... Can you just get it going by the end of the game, just for the, what your skills end up at? I guess it depends on, like, your armor and shields and stuff like that. Huh. But, oh, that would be really fun with Manifold Assault, because uh, cause then if things got blinked away from you, you can still take them out. I think I'll leave Edmund some more. Oh, he's still following me. Sure. That's not got a good staircase somewhere that I can run away from. Okay, ooh. Dex? Magic regen. Magic regen's excellent. I'll put it on the Dex, it's suddenly. Um. Oh, had it in vaults 5 and like 3% of quick silver scales. I guess because you've got like some a little bit of armor skill, and then if you throw on some lighter armor, yeah, I guess that works. On a kite shield, but the tower shield made it seven percent. Yeah, which really that I guess that really doesn't work. It's all the the minus move that kind of stuffs you up, right? Like the actual seven percent failure itself doesn't matter. It's just the miscasts that are kind of brutal on the whole transformation spells. I can't use large rocks. I'm not big enough to throw those ones. Oh, that's close enough. I think to scorch. There we go. Good with the Ogres have a bit of distance between them and me, and I can burn them up before they get to me. Uh, do I... Uh, I got some Curare. I think I try take on Edmund. 
There we go. Yeah, we didn't want them too bad now, but I've got a few more magic points than when I first, like, arrived on this level and everything. Um... I've got four of these? Noise, of course. Alright, so there's some reason some things I could draw. The scale mail's useless, rope's not that neater, dagger's useless. There was, there we go, degen is useless, and I should just be able to go down. Oh, even if 3% is not ideal, but more manageable. Yeah, like, even with 1%, you can sometimes notice, uh, miscast effects, right? With, uh, with minus move. But, I mean, it's not really much better you can do. Oh, hey, block. He's gonna teleport out, but I might try and damage him beforehand. Yeah, there he goes. Uh... Which means I could meet him anywhere on this level. Ooh, Centaur. I'm gonna back up a little. There you go, that put it pretty close. I mean, I might have moved reasonably close just in the time I was killing the enemy, but I wasn't sure that it would, so I thought I might just pull around the corner. Uh, I've got eight magic points, I'll just burn this guy. Well, when you've got, like, uh, 13 magic points, having magic regen is super noticeable, because that's, what, half a magic point a turn? So it only takes me, like, 20 turns to get it all back. Ooh, hey, Sigmund, he's got a rope of willpower, which is alright. Um, something I could potentially want. Go pick it up. It's probably less protective than what I'm wearing right now, so... Lose 4 armor class gain, 1.6 evasion. Yeah, it's not worth it. But it is willpower, so I'll keep it around in case... I know that I'm gonna need willpower. It's not perfect. Can I do the flame wave? 70% failure. I'll give it a try. Okay. Dead work. Uh, I don't have a cloak, right? It doesn't look like it. I like how the cloaks it's quite obvious if you're wearing one or not with the sprite. Uh, I'll pull the priest around the corner. I've I've done like two fire mages on the streak, right? This is the second one, I think. And I hadn't done like any fire mages previous to that for quite some time, actually. I've been like, I don't know months since I done one and now I'm just doing all the fire mages. But there's some of the some of the best characters I've got left, because some of the characters I got left aren't the nicest to play. Oh, where is that priest? Oh not priest. It's probably probably was in range now. Ah no it wasn't. That's better. That's a good thing about Scorch. At least it can hit all the invisible stuff. Um, but you do have to get them with rage, which is not massively far away or anything. Check out these guys' armor. I know they sometimes have artifact things. Oh, plus two flail of protection. I won't use it, but it is a it's a backup weapon they could use. Oh, uh. <sighs> Woke up. A Curaria, definitely. There we go. I'm glad I have, like, an entire stack of Curaria. Oh, hey, Menka. Menka will die pretty easily to the fire, but I don't want to fight him at the same time as everything else. Is that the only way? I think this is the only way I've got left on this level. Right. Pull something back, like this imp. Just keep on pulling back, uh, small groups of creatures. Mm, can't rest because there's monsters nearby, sure. I don't think those guys are going to get to me, though, then they won't figure out how to go around. Go around this corner. Uh, what's my flame wave? 12% failure, I might do it. There we go. Now we'll just run back a bit, at least get my magic points back, but I should probably try and get my health back as well before I go fight any of that stuff. Um, because I don't actually have any fire resistor or anything. So I think for some reason those bombardier beetles are like fire vulnerable, right? It's kind of weird. Um, let me actually just go check on that. 
Where are they? Here they are. No, they're normal to it. Okay, it's probably I probably just made one vulnerable with the scorch ones, and then after that I thought they were vulnerable to it or something. I mean, it would be because I was scorching it, but it's kind of funny. Or glass walls just show how down monsters are passing to you. Yeah, it really does because uh, like they were just sitting in here and they could go around, but they didn't want to. Come on, there we go. Uh -uh. So we wouldn't have to go further and fetch that guy. There's still an ogre in here, I think. Um, which is probably the thing I got to watch out for the most because it's probably going to be a quarter ogre given the layout of this level. Well, it's actually not too bad. Should still cure Ariat though. <laughs> Because that not only slows it down, also does a bit of damage. Whoa. Poison darts quivered. Um, I'm going to split these two dudes up, right? I could probably tank the poison damage, I reckon. Yep, that seems fine. Uh, except... I'm not sure about that. I might just actually go upstairs and try to... Bro, hey, Block. Uh, why take one of these teleport traps? Alright, that'll do. <laughs> yeah, that was not the best time ever to see Blockula. Um, right. Our troll's gonna teleport us unless I hide here. And then I'll hit her with the Curari, definitely. Oh, we'll miss her with the Curari. Uh... There we go. Go rid of that one. I could take a stroll with the rob, but it'll be less potato, so I don't think I'll worry about it. Okay, block. What's he got? Has he got distortion or whopping? He's got whopping, right? Yeah, he does. Uh, oh, poison resist ring is nice. Um, He's already poison resist, right? He's a vampire. Yeah, he's poison viewed, actually. So I can't cure Ari him. Not that I could anyway, because of his uh, whole poison resist thing. Am I just... Uh... Okay. Gonna turn to the bats. There we go. Now we can burn the bats, although I'm getting a little low on magic points. Excellent. I think I killed him. And I can get some intelligence. No, he's, uh, he's actually really me scary these days because he used to not be that scary, but then he turned into a vampire. They kind of buffed him up a little bit. I mean, I think it's mainly the whole turning to the bats thing at the end that can be a problem because the bats can actually do decent damage. What is this? Brilliant, so it does foul flame and an umbra. Um, what does the umbra do again? What does it say? Does it make it harder for things to hit me? It surrounds you with an umbra of shadow, increasing your stealth and reducing the accuracy of all others within it. Right. I might just wield that. <laughs> yeah, make it harder for things to hit me. Wait, it only reduces the accuracy of things within it? I thought it was... Wait, I think it reduced the accuracy of trying to hit things within it. So if um, a creature tries to hit me, it always has its accuracy reduced. If it's anything like the old uh, Dismantle Sombra. I remember there was a rule where the range like, didn't matter that much to it. Because it was, um, whether you're a number or not determines whether you're harder to hit, I think. Alright, let's, uh, let's go downstairs. It's a cool weapon. It certainly is. I haven't got a chance to use it properly. And unfortunately, this is not the character to use it properly either. So I should put on my poison resist ring. <laughs> Get a bit of that. Um, but hey, it's a, it's a little stick I can carry around for an umbra, I guess. <laughs> also, it gives me a good idea if things are within Scorch range, right? Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the uh, same range to it. 
Also, do I have any other spells? I got the Inner Flame. Volatile Blast Modes. I guess I'll try some Blast Modes, but... Mm. Oh, it's not my favorite spell in the world. Hey, it's a temple. Uh, Demon Dragon's not good because they don't have any fire just Oh, pull around this corner. Oh, no, I won't pull around that corner. I guess not. Uh. Huh? There we go. And now I can go into the temple and grab. I might go with Sif Mana today. I need a few more spells. Look at the spell book. There's nothing in it. There we go. Sif Mana acquired. I don't think I've done Sif Mana yet on my streak either. I've done the humor. They're pretty cool. I still have no idea how to use blast modes. Yeah, I know you can like sometimes create distance between you and an enemy if you're willing to take a bit of damage. Um, but the fact that the creatures, like, speed up afterwards, like, after you hit them with it, so they get slowed down, no, no, that's a different one, that's, uh, I mean, it does, I don't know, it does do a bit of damage, but, so I guess you can lure things over, oh, it's a permafrost eruption, um, it's ice earth, I'm good at earth, minus one attitude and ice isn't terrible, Lee's rapid deconstruct, huh, it's not quite the spells I'm after. No, well, that didn't work. Uh... I don't know. I might I might get them eventually. I'll probably end up fire um, Earth eventually, but I think it'll be a little while before I pick up the Earth. I still have a whole bunch of skills. I guess a mob skill to trade, fighting skill to trade, spellcasting, all the classic skills that you need. Oh, spellcasting to seven. Not too bad. It brings me on to 19 magic points, which is definitely not too bad. I mean, it's not enhanced by the thing, but. Oh, what are these guys doing? Poisoning me up. My poison resist even doing anything? It probably is. It's probably saving me from some of the poison. It's like almost the perfect spot for a flame wave. They're just like a little too spread out for it. Um, and of course I can just keep on hitting them with the scorch. It seems to be doing the trick. Was that fire resistance? No, it's just ring mail, which I guess helps it out. Can I see what this guy does? Heavy trident, that's fine. Not gonna like one hit me or something with a heavy trident. Didn't quite die. Hmm. Oh well, I guess I'll pull the next guy along or something. Uh actually that's not even an explored area. I'll still bring them this way, but oh if it's too much for a better fit as the thing. Ah, uh, that's a net. Um, yeah, it's probably gonna. Oh, that give. I didn't even get a chance. It just straight up died. That's how uh, I like it with those guys. Uh, bring out some fox spikes. What else could I do at that range, right? I don't think any of my other fire spells like the flame wave doesn't have that sort of range. The scorch doesn't have that sort of range. Uh. I think it could be a little careful with the flame wave because it's really noisy, but it does do good damage, I think. Oh. Um, if I step downwards, it doesn't really help, does it? Probably see basically everywhere now. Yeah, it does. I still want to get closer to it because otherwise it's going to be shooting me for a lot of damage, but...
All right, what sort of ones do I have already? I've got a wand of Warfare Grid to took off Blockula. Uh, and I've got a wand of Mind Burst. That's not a bad set. How good am I with Evocation skill? Plus one? That's not bad. Pat, my Evocations is excellent with this character, so it's a good thing I've got an Invocations God, I think. Oh, not another one of these guys. Um, where can it see? I don't know if that really helped. Am I pulling in a little bit closer? There's probably more sandals in here as well. I'm going to just hide around here. See what I get. Nope, that's all of them. Alright, well, let's go down. So I probably go down four more levels of the dodger before I go to the lair or something. I, not that I've got the lair currently or anything. Uh, I might step back a bit. I might have attracted all the bees anyway. <laughs> yeah, the idea of stepping back is that I might not attract all of them. Ooh, an ogre. Two-headed. I'll hit it with a curare, but... Oh, I'll miss it with a curare. Oh, I'll miss it again. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I gotta get close. Oh. Probably should still move up. Um. And kind of low on the Curaris, I think, but that's because half of them on the floor. Oh, got up to me. I might use the warping and hit myself in the ogre. One of us has got to go somewhere. That's better. <laughs> Yeah, I love how you can just hit yourself with that one. Alright. Oh, six identifies. How did I get so many of those? What have I got? I've got a potion I'll do, because I don't think I got curing. There's some curing. Um, I'll do a scroll, so we've got some fog. I'll do more potions, so heal wounds is nice. Might not so useful for this character. Haste is always good. And some attraction, which I don't think I needed. But I could have shop, I could have bought some of that if I really wanted it anyway. Oh, no, on these bogarts. I think they do shadow creatures, right? And all the things they bring in are kind of tough sometimes. Um, especially if you don't have like any AOE or something, they can take them out when they're behind their creatures. Oh, yeah. I wonder if that's the lair entrance if it's got yaks. Let's, uh, pull them back a little bit. I better deal with this guy. Yeah, with a wyvern and a bunch of yaks, I reckon it probably is. Oh, hey, Sal, Lust House. How's it going? How's your day been today? Been a, I think it's been a little while since I've uh, seen you in chat, actually. It's been a little while since I've been streaming, actually. Um, what was that, last Monday or something that I was streaming? Something like that. But what did I get? I got Fire Magic reaches target. Conjuration is getting pretty close to its target. I wonder what I get next. I mean, these spells are like, castable, right? So I'm going to have to think of something else to get. Maybe some fighting or whatever. Just, I don't know, something. I was going good, a very nice Sunday, but your way? Uh, yeah. Yeah, for me it's like, uh, Monday morning, so I guess it would be Sunday in a lot of places. Have you seen you streaming in a while? Yeah, it's definitely, definitely been a little, a little while, unfortunately. Oh, lots of frogs. Wait, were the frogs specifically with Jeremiah, was that just luck? Because he's like a Barachi that... Oh, whoops. Oh, I took the wrong path. Ah. I should have looked more carefully, although was that unexplored? It might have been unexplored. So I don't think I couldn't have... I couldn't tell that that was just a little dead end immediately. Uh... Alright, I'll bring him, bring him in nice and close.
scotch him up, try and get him. There we go, get him vulnerable to fire, that makes a big difference. So he's got a, I've got a plus two or a willpower already, I think. Yep, mine was plus two as well. So I don't think I need any of his gear, I certainly don't need his weapon. Or oh, have you ever had time to tinker with the new shapeshifter stuff? You're throwing so many attempts at it? Um, I tried them like back when they were quite new, I haven't tried one for a little while. Yeah, they, they have a really nasty starter thing these days, like the low level forms don't help that much. But if you can get yourself into statue form eventually, they can make a huge difference. But it doesn't really sort you out before the end of the lair kind of um, deal. And then there's, there's other forms, but I really like statue form. It's really fun. Because um, it, it like slows you down, but it also makes you like really tanky, so... And the other one damage on is pretty decent as well. Um, I just move up and then flame wave these guys. Because there's not like the bees could dodge a flame wave or something. Alright, I'll get five fighting. I get like four armor, I think. And then I'll probably be back onto getting the spellcasting side of things again. Oh, and identify. I've been trying to make the snake and the corrosion one work. The snake one can kind of work if you're like an Oni or something. Someone with a few like extra hit points that wouldn't have good armor anyway. Ooh, a cloak of cold is kind of nice. I might save up for that one. I don't need much more money. What else I got? Let oh, chainmail? Fire this is fine. Plus two. Two armor class minus four and a bit of agent. So I lose a bit of armor class putting it on, but um, yeah, if I need some fire resist, I think that's the only option I've seen so far, so it's not too bad. Oh, Statue 4 is badass? Yeah, it certainly is. Oh, Shapeshifter changes are planned for next version. Nothing concrete, though. It'd be interesting to see what changes. Um, yeah, because the, the Shapeshifters are kind of going through a few revisions. There was like some times where they were maybe a bit too powerful. I feel like they're not in the best spot at the moment, though. Until later on, then they can get pretty good. That Curaria does. Pull these guys around this corner. Hey, Grum. Where's this other wolf? Did he, he kind of just have one of them. There it is. Yeah, he never just has uh, one wolf, it's always... Is it always two, three? I don't I'm not entirely sure. Especially on unarmed troll. Actually, trolls are another thing that are good at shape too, because they also high hit points, don't really get any armor early on, so you don't miss out too much by not having the armor. And they're really good at shape, uh, unarmed as well. So you can kind of have the claws before you get a proper form going, and then later on you get into statue form. And a statue form troll is just kind of ridiculous. Ah... Uh... Let's back up a little bit here. I'll probably try to make it more appealing to more characters, but uh, niche right now. Yeah, because it's what trolls, onis, uh, good at it. Um, I think there's a few other things that are good at it, but I can't really remember. But those are the ones that kind of stand out, right? As ones that are really good because they got they lose a lot less stuff. Oh, and the trolls get to keep their regen as well when they're in a form, which really helps. Um, especially early on. And I guess the trolls having an earlier, oh, an easier early game is also pretty massive. When it, because that's the hardest part before you get your statue form going. Come on, be a star for fire. Hey, there we go, a star for fire. Do I actually need the power of these spells? Let's see. The flame wave is only on 50% power. Um, I've got the aura that makes everyone less accurate, but I might put on my staff of fire. I think it's worth it. What does that bring the power up to anyway? 67%? Yeah, it's a decent increase. Ooh, this death knight in here? I'm definitely not going in here for a little while. And there's also Dom D2's ghost. Deep Elf Chaos Knight. They've only got Mephitic Cloud. I mean, I'm definitely still not going in there because of this Death Knight. But I think the Ghost would probably be manageable at least. Uh, 
feels weird though having my like darkness aura giving giving me a guide. Um hmm. Fan is not gonna use his refrigerate right now with the troll around, right? Oh, I don't wanna pull him up though, at the same time as the troll. Because I don't have my cold resist yet. I need to gain what is it? Like 100 gold or something? <laughs> it's a little bit less than 100 gold and I could get the whole cold resist going. Oh, the uh, Diva of Chaos Light of Zen? Wait, that's an interesting choice. Why Zen? Should have gone with like Namelix or something so they can be a deck of Namelix? Whoa, what did I just cast? Oh, I think I put a blast mode on my staircase. Wait, did that stop the dude following me upstairs? Huh. I'm not sure how useful that knowledge is, but apparently dropping a blast mode on the staircase stops people following you up. <laughs> Alright, what have we got? Swiftness, Shock, and Airstrike. Yeah, I mean, it does do damage to me, so I'm not sure how useful that knowledge is, but it's maybe useful. It's a lot of these guys, which is a bit of a problem. There we go. Now I can run properly. Problem is that guy kind of closed the space to me. Oh, these guys are just getting fried. I was expecting them to put up a bit more of a fight there. Um, I was expecting them to have to go up the escape hatch and everything like that, but no. Oh, is my bot on uh, chat? Let me just check on that one. I might have forgotten the bot again. Someday I'll remember the bot reliably, but not today. All right, let's, uh, let's tell it to join. That gonna work. Why put an extra space at the front of that? Cause I just copy pasted it. <laughs> Why is it not? Oh, maybe it's still working on the query. We'll see. Anyway, what do I want? I want a little bit of invocations, actually. I want like eight. Um, try and get the channel magic going because it's 50% failure, which isn't terrible. Oh, um, I don't have my cold resist yet, do I? I might just. I might just put on the staff and run away. Um, <laughs> that's probably the thing to do because I mean, the staff gives me cold resist. Uh, is that not the right way? I mean, it... oh, yeah, it did give me cover, but then it put me in the right next to him. That was not a good idea. I think I can get back to the staircase with this cold resist on. Yeah, I should have taken the better way back there. Oh, oh well. Um, hmm, actually. Might put on the staff of uh, cold resist just in case I go down next to Fatter again. Um, Wait, why didn't the bot answer me then? I added the bot, didn't I? Says this in chat. Huh? What's up with the bot? It's... It's not responding to me. It just doesn't like me today. I even tried like in the bots chat, um, and it didn't respond there either. No. Oh. Guess the bots having a day off. It's on holiday. Oh, I got a mortalized, but I don't think I was one of those. That melts your armor, so it doesn't quite work for this character. Uh, let's retreat back here. That's not particularly important. It's probably just that one white, isn't it, that remains. Uh, if I just go down, I don't have to fight fatter. It's probably a good idea. I mean, I might have to fight them on the way up or something, but that could be tomorrow's problem. 
well, actually, it'll still be today in real time. But hey, maybe in, in game, maybe it'll be tomorrow. We'll, I don't actually know how long a turn is in this game. Like, even six seconds or something, you'd be clearing the dungeon pretty quickly, but who knows? Because you can rest like full health in, uh, what, a couple hundred tons of no regen. Uh, this guy's got a chance bed from me, guess, 35%. Not surprised that it did end up getting it through. That's a bit of a problem. I don't think there's a lot I can do. Oh, sequel's been slow recently. It might be to do with that yeah it probably is because i mean it's the same like same bot really as the terabot one and stuff and the beam one oh that's not killing me as fast as i like 20 something health is still fine i think it just cast the flame wave again there we go the other option was uh like drink healing potion but i didn't need it just yet i was getting kind of close to needing it though because i do have some full healing potions on me um i remember people tried to estimate based on the end of the world limit how long it is i mean Actually, that's another thing, like, if the, if the each turn was only six seconds, how long would it be until the end of the world, right? Maybe not that long. Because that's, how, how long is it? Is it 200 million tons or something? Until the end of the world? I think it's something like that. Oh, it's at me with the acid. I think I need a healing potion. Um... Can hit it with a Curari, but this is not ideal. I can miss it with a Curari. I can miss it again. Ah, uh, it's so hard to hit. Can I at least put it in a net? I can at least put it in a net. Which should allow me to hit it with a Curari. Wait, what? Is it as no. Oh, it's poison resist. No wonder I wasn't affecting with the Curari. How long would those acid dragons be poison resist? Have they always been poisoned for this? I just hadn't noticed until now. Oh, maybe. Um, I actually want a bit more fighting. I want to get some health going here. I think one of the little dudes stepped out the front, right? Nope, a little cobalt did not step out the front. Oh well, I've got poison for this, so I should shouldn't get slowed or something. Wait, if each die... Oh wait, I can't ask the bot here. What is like... 200 million... Times like 6 seconds, and then divide that by like 60 to put that into minutes. I got 60 again for like hours. Um, and then... 24 to make it into days. Wait, that, if each turn was like 6 seconds, then the end of the world would be in about 14,000 days? It's like only a few years. That, okay. I mean, maybe that's what you need the Orb of Zod for, right? To stop the world ending? Who knows? Oh, I getting teleported. Um, when was that takes purple for traps going off? That's kind of an. I'm sure that's a new thing. That's kind of nice because it used to not be the most obvious the takes that you were getting trapped or something. Ah, more poison darts. I got the curari ones right. It's still actually I've still got six of those, so I'm pretty good. But that whole curari's there. Oh, what? Oh, it's invisible. Isn't it? I thought I killed him, no. I Probably if I looked more carefully at the messages there, I could have um, seen that it was still alive. Did I just run with this guy? That seems kind of bad. It's not... 
I mean, I guess that was a better way to get a next meal, was the last turns um, didn't take me as close to unexplored terrain, but I don't know. I did really save a lot by running back there. All right, can I buy that cloak finally? Hey, there we go. It's also two intelligence, which is nice. Yeah, that'll probably be my end game cloak. Oh, I can't carry it. What can I draw? The basic cloak, I think. Short sort of protection, both of those are pretty useless now. All right, so I got a fire resist, I got a cold resist, I got a poison resist. That's a lot of resist for this early in the game. God, I think everything I need to do the Larry's apart from maybe spells. I mean, Flame Wave is not terrible in here, but it'd be nice to have some non-starter spells at some stage. So, ooh, potential for fire? What am I even wearing? It's like Dex. Poison resist. Dex doesn't do a lot for me, actually. What does it do for me? Does it even give me evasion? I got nine evasion. I'll try on the fire resist. Nine evasion. I mean, yeah, it doesn't really do anything. Might as well have the fire resist on because it's the occasional Lindworm in here, I guess. Oh, Scroll of Fear. And it does mean if I, I probably actually won't swap stars, but if I do end up swapping stars, I'll still have my fire resist at least. Oh, sometimes you get the, the ending with a dragon, and that wouldn't be too bad. Although, I, I'm not sure I've got anything that can actually damage a dragon, honestly. But that would be a bit of... Oh, wait, Limbworms are fine, because they're not fire immune. There is a... What's under these? Large rocks. Are they all large rocks? Okay, that's probably fine. There is a... What is it? I know there's something in here that's often fire immune. Is it fire elementals? And there's a gargoyle, right? I know that I'd like to have some sort of non-fire damage spell in here. Um, even if it's just like iron, not iron shot, the, the st more one, the stone arrow. <laughs> no, I'm not, really not seeing anything that looks that um, promising in that list of spells. That's another rock. I gotta check it though, just in case it's actually something good, but no, it looks like it's just... Rocks under the debris. Uh -huh. I think I keep on finding. Oh, that's not what I want to say at all. Mine didn't lighten up a little bit, because that... Oh, I didn't mean to move... Oh, I didn't mean to move closer there. That was not ideal. Um, That's fine. I want that one in front, and then I want to hit it with the Curari, which I just missed. This double shaking is not poison resist or something. No. Uh. <sighs> this is not great. I'll try it with a net. It's not much better. Still 60% to hit. Why do my nets hurt, but my other things don't? Oh, well, I guess that works. I won't question these nets abilities to hit with my Curari card. Uh, minus one dagger. Is that a Trog Alter? No, it's just a Faded Alter, is it? I know that a Trog Alter is off. Wait, how do you even get to that Faded Alter? Do you have to dig? What? This is like the most trolling body ever. It's not even diggable walls. You'd actually have to, I don't know, shatter your way in or something if you really wanted the faded altar. But by the time you've got shatter going, you probably don't need it. Oh, fire resist, poison resist, resist electric on this trident. I might pick it up. It's a, it's a source of resist electric if the Thunder Hulk comes along or something. I can just swap to that one. Uh, what have you got to identify? I might go with the potions. We've got lignification. That's actually good. Um, because I can lignify if there's a shite coming along. I don't want it to go berserk or something. Alright, frog. I still find these frogs back legs look so funny. They're like little spindly back legs. That's the last one, or the other ones just blink away? I think they actually all just died. Uh... 
Oh, I love the frog. Oh, well, so much more like the frog girl at the front of the Komodo dragon took a pretty good job of blocking it. I feel the flame wave is doing quite a bit of damage. How much is it? A two D sixteen compared to Scorch of like two D nine. Yeah, okay, that's quite a that's quite a lot more. Base says it's like double the level or something. All right, let's go down. Uh, I just move up a little bit so I can flame wave these a little bit better. There we go. Fighting's doing great. Do one more armor. I might get a little bit more armor, but um, I gotta think about some spell casting here at some stage. I don't know. I could try for a permafrost eruption, but it doesn't seem quite right. How close am I to getting Sif gifts? Um, I need more piety, don't I? Because I gotta get my piety to, um... Five pips before I even have a chance of getting a gift. So, But I still might want to wait on a gift before I go decide... Oh, hey Hydra. Eight-headed, even. Got a phantom mirror, I've got a whopping. What else what else do I have? Um I don't have a lot of like spells with a bit of range. Uh actually, Foxfire does do quite a bit of damage, um, because the Hydra has no armor. Actually, I think I just scorch it again, there we go. I was thinking about get dumping a warping on it, but I think it's probably not necessary. Alright. Mm, bring the Conjuration up a little bit, that's probably a useful skill to have. I do plan on grabbing Conjuration stuff. Do any of the stuff there? Not really. I've got a, I got a, like, Trine or something for any kind of resist electric I could need. Actually, what this character does need, though, is a shield, right? Um... <laughs> Yeah, so if I could get a shield, I could start working on the shield skill or something. Alright. There's probably the spider nest around there, because there's, well, the spiders, and there's also an entrance, uh, not an entrance, a web. Multiple webs, even. Okay. Oof, tension. I've got, uh, I think I've got some random decks ones so I can probably drop, get myself a protection. What am I wearing? I'm wearing the protection fire. I should just put on the basic protection, I think. There we go. Because I still got one fire resist. Alright, what's my other branch? I got a spider this. I don't know what my other branch was yet. I should probably try cloud some inventory space and see what I've got. Um, if I can, uh, do I still need the alchemy? I don't, because I got the poison resist now on a ring, and I'll probably keep that one on for a long time. Probably don't need the noise. I keep the amnesia, but like, it's, I don't, it's also something I really need to carry around, right? Like, you can just kind of use it when you need it. Um, it's going to roll at me, isn't it? Or not. Yes, you're going to walk up calmly. That's not your normal border beetle thing to do. Uh, that's fine. I've got poison resist. I was a little bit scared when I first saw a swamp dragon because if you don't have poison resist, the clouds absolutely strip through your health. I don't think I need his armor either. Let's go check. So if you put it on, I lose uh, half a armor class. That's actually not that bad. If I find another ring of protection, that's actually worth putting on. And then I can swap out my poison resist ring or something. So go scroll butterflies. Uh, resistance. So have any more identifying? No, I'm out of it. Ooh, lots of things. At least I'm resistant or immune, actually, to the steam. Now, the initial hit will still do some damage from the steam ball, but... I'm going to sit in the clouds if I need to. Not that I used it, probably because there were too many of its friends around or something. Uh, I got a cold resist. I should be fine here.
Ooh. Okay. Uh, uh I wish I had something a bit more fancy. Can I get this dude to stand on some blast modes? Is that gonna work? I don't know. I think not massively. Um I might just hit it with a bit of warping. In fact, I might hit myself with a bit of warping too. There we go. Just in case, because it's more likely that one of us will warp than if I target just it. I mean, there's a small chance that we both warp, um, like, next to each other or something, but that's not that likely. And I guess that could still happen. Right? Can it still happen if I just warp it? I'm not sure. There might be a minimum distance it tries to warp or something. I feel like that was something that got improved, because I think it used to just sometimes warp you back where you were. Ooh, hey, that's a little buckler. I can wear one of those. So, let's just put that on. I'll probably have a decent chance of casting this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Um, try on five shields anyway, because I don't have a lot of shield value with a no skill buckler. Does Flame Wave burn trees? It does, right? Okay. Just checking. <laughs> But yeah, it does look like it burns up the trees, so I have to be a little bit careful with it in the forest. But I do have fire resist, so it's not too bad if I end up burning the forest down. It's fine. Hold the sword dragging back a bit, because I don't think it's got too much harmful stuff it can do. At range, I mean, it does do a little bit of poison. Which means I've probably got an ending. Oh, do I have an ending with a fire dragon or something? Uh, there could be a nice dragon, which would be better. I think it, um, yeah, because you get the swamp dragon, you get the other dragon, right? Actually, it's not, it's not in the third level level. What's a random swamp dragon doing here? Do I actually have the real swamp? I probably do have the real swamp in that case. I'll find out pretty soon because, I mean, this level has to have one of my lab branches on it. Uh, gotta run away from those death eggs. They can't run forwards to get to the staircase, I don't think, without them getting to me. I don't think that does a lot trying to hit those guys with a fog fire because I think they've got a bunch of armor class. Ooh, right, I can, I can still back up, I've got space here. But it does mean I'm going to have to go down a different staircase after fighting this guy. Uh, might curare it up, because it's kind of bashing me up a little bit. I think I was winning, but I just wanted to be 100% sure I was winning there. This is definitely an entire room full of bees. There should be a queen bee coming around that corner any stage now, maybe. I mean, I don't think there's always a queen bee. Oh, yep, there it is. Uh, six magic points, right. Hey, I'm actually finally at the point where I can start getting god gifts, um... At some stage. Because I think Sif Monopoly is based on ma training magic skills, which I'm doing right now. And also something else. Um, is it just killing creatures? Might be. I mean, yeah, Sif Monarch said to my kill there, so I guess it's just killing creatures. But I know if you don't um, train up the magic, it could be really hard to gain any kind of Party with Sif Mana. Until later on, you seem to get a decent amount for killing things. Like if you go through hell or something. Hey, there we go. Some sort of codex got thrown at me. There, let me go check on what that one is. Oh, codex of birds? 
It does capacitive coupling, airstrike, and befitting cloud. I'm not sure that's something I can get though. Uh, I'll just grab that book and get out of here. I need my magic points back. Oh, Sif is just kills now? Really? Really? I thought Sif was based on training magic, aren't they? The training magic skill thing is old? Wait, let me go check. Sif slice it when you kill living things, destroy the undead, and kill demons. Destroy holy beings and destroy non living beings. Oh, interesting. Huh. So it's only the uh, trunk now that cares if you. Um, do anything related to training magic skills? Fascinating. All right, what's here? Bombard Servitor. All right. I could probably make that work. Also, I don't need this rig. Um. Yeah, let's get Bombard going. So I need to get a little bit of Earth Magic. Oh, I'll, I'll need this for later on anyway. Maybe 10. And that could be my non-fire damage source that I have for everything that's immune to fire. Oops, that's not quite what I meant to do, but I guess it works. You know, the Blast Mode is actually slightly better with this character than some characters, because I got enough armor class that I don't just kill myself with it, <laughs> thankfully. Oh, I didn't want to rest there. Oh, well. Well, I did want to rest there. I wanted to wait a turn so the guys move up to me, but... Because when I'm challenging something, it uh, channels the spell instead. Yeah, apparently the reason the channeling spells is like the same key as waiting is because like every key has been assigned a purpose. Although admittedly some, you could probably make it better though because there are sometimes multiple keys. Like I think S is a wait key. Dot is a wait key. So like you could probably just assign it to one of those or something, but it's a bit complicated. Oh God, Manifold Assault, Ozzycuba's Armor and Fugue of the Fallen. Manifold Assault is so fun on uh, dwarves, but I don't think this was going to go for it. Because you can cast in heavier armor without too many problems. Uh, unfortunately, the flame wave get, like, gets like broken if you get trampled by the elephant. But there's not much I can do about that, right? That's great sword. Minus four int. Resist negative. See invisible. That's not that good. Wait, it works with Acrobat? The trample? Really? Weird. I mean, I guess you're technically moving. That is so weird. Okay, sure. I almost feel like there should be a difference between like forced movement and just like voluntary movement. They don't feel quite the same. I don't know, maybe it makes sense. I don't know. Maybe it makes sense, but it doesn't feel like it should make sense. Oh, I've never noticed that before, but no, I guess I guess you are moving. What was my other lab? Was the swamp right? Yeah, it was good. Other lab branch. That's a lot of things. I'm gonna have to go up, but I might pull something close. I pull one more thing close. There we go. All right, next staircase. Hopefully, they won't all get covered in creatures. Oh, elephants. Um. Try pull this dude up. Yep, that's about as well as I thought that would go. I still might be able to get my staircases back. Yeah, there we go. Whew. I have a Hurari on this dude. Just though it doesn't attack quite as fast. Let's go down again. Almost got the blink for close enough. Uh, 
It's frog pod time, it sure is. Yeah, I can see the edge with my frog pod, right? All the shanks and yanks. And I know sometimes this one hasn't been too bad for just so far, but it, can, it always has time to go bad when you just go down every staircase and they're all surrounded. Sure, will get to me first, this one, right? Uh, that's not too bad. See if we got some walls to uh, block everything from getting to me. And I'm also quite a noisy with this character, which uh, doesn't work the best when you're near a frog pod, right? Oh, uh, sure, I'll bring this guy out. Oh, okay. Uh, of course, it pushed me off. Um, hmm. I think it's okay. I'm just worried that more stuff might come along. More stuff did, in fact, come along. I think I just keep on fighting here. Ah, uh, that's not what I want to see. Even more guys, could I? There's something useful I could do to these guys. They all lined up. Surely there's something you can do with they all lined up. I might try to zap them with a Quicksilver. There we go. Got out there. Alright, don't think there's any more elephants, so I'm just gonna go back down the same staircase. Uh, I'm gonna check this staircase. Might might be better. Let's see. It's decently far away, but I think it's probably so better. Hey, yeah, it's cleared out by now. They've all decided to go surround that first staircase. Well, I guess second staircase, second deal. I don't know the other one I was at. Oh, two tyrant leeches. All right. I think the tyrant leeches are pretty slow unless you get them in water and then they go really fast, which makes sense for a leech, I guess. Oh, Goliath frogs. Dude's a big. Um... They can hit you with a lot of acid damage sometimes, those goliath frogs. Ooh, I'm going right into the pod. Uh, they would probably go right into the pod, because it does slow me down. I'm going to be a bit careful with that. But there can't be too many creatures left of this level, otherwise um, I imagine they would have come along when they heard me casting spells, but still, I'm going to be a bit careful. I just uh, manually explore a bit around the edge of the map. Hey, what is this? Some sort of gift getting thrown my way. Let's see what it has. So we have... Oh, let's grab it. Stone Arrow, Brom's Barley Boulder, Fireball's good, Starburst is good. All right, well, I can probably get some spells going for that one. Uh, might just go upstairs. <laughs> go blood them upstairs. So, uh, Fireball's castable. I even quiver it up. It seems like a w worthwhile thing to use. Starburst? Sure, it's castable as well. How's that uh, Bob by going? 90% failure. That's probably uh, not too bad when it comes to killing things that are immune. And I know more spell levels, so that's fine. We have Fireball Shark. I think it's really noisy. Uh... Suddenly goes through my magic points a lot faster, which is fine. It's what they're there for to be used. Oh, whose ghost is this? We have Bertram's ghost. They're a Minotaur fighter of Trog with minus fire resist. I wonder if that's what got them killed. Really? Oh. Not quite got the range on that one. Oh, they got hit by a lid worm or something. 
Got the fire dragon ending with all the fiery guys or something. It's quite possible. Or they could have just died to a Hydra. I mean, they... I don't know what sort of weapon they were using. Uh, could have said that guy was a starburst. I mean, sure. I don't have to fireball everyone. Really? There's got to be somewhere. Oh. There's a big shield here for me, which is nice. I'm going to just back up a bit. Uh, probably can still cast the shield or they're getting the, what's it called? What am I, the earth spell, the bombard going could be a little bit harder. I'll throw the boomerangs. I don't need those. So we've got a morning star of intelligence. Oh, that's not completely useless. Holy wrath quick blade. I probably don't need. Drop the robo pal though. It's kind of nice. Um... But now I think the fire one is definitely better because the majority of my damaging spells are in fact fire. Oh, that's not bad. Not bad. Um, I guess more fire magic because I am doing a lot of fire magic now. Put on the shield. So, let's see. Oh, 30% fail on the bombard. 22% fail on the starburst. Go back to the buckler. I can have to train those up a little bit more. Probably get a little bit more shield skill as well, because that's what he's sitting on, like, five or something. Uh, need that dude. <laughs> it can stay in there. How many identifies? Eight identifies. Let's just identify everything. So I've got a charm with, which I can probably drop. I've got vulnerability, emulation. Oh, nice emulation. Add silence. Alright, well, let's start. Let's do down level 14 and then go fight some orcs. Red, ugly thing. Might as well change its color. There we go. And I get a book where Toxic Radiance, Mercury, Vapors, and Sting. I had a young poisonous handbook. There's Mystic Blast, Bullseye, and Two Keeper Stars. I don't know what those are the spells I want. But I'm actually not doing bad with spells. I do want Sif Mana dropped on me <laughs> with all these fire spells. Uh, I need a little bit closer. Oh, still need a little bit closer. Yeah, back of butt. Five magic points. Oh, I should probably curare this guy and then hit it with a starburst. Oh, well, miscast starburst. Um, sure. <laughs> Yeah, still 9% fail in the star burst, but I'm getting right skills. Oh, there's Azreel. Um, I don't really want to fight Azreel, but it's got to be Azreel with these uh, group of guys around. But I just go to the Orcish Mines. I mean, I can head him with a Bombard, but I don't know if I've got enough magic points to take him out that way or not. <laughs> I certainly can't take him out with a fireball or anything. All right. You now, getting the whole magic regen is actually kind of nice with Sif Mana because it's it's almost like having faith on him because piety decays so fast with Sif Mana and you're resting up less often. You effectively get the piety faster. <laughs> At least that's what it seems like anyway. Uh... Uh-oh. What's happening? Shafted. An escape hatch, but I don't need it right now.
Not the best, though, because it leads to unexplored terrain. Um, I might go take it anyway. It's kind of a lot of guys building up. Oh, wait. Explored terrain. Nice. That's what I want to see. Yeah, because uh, the first level was split up, so it could have taken me to so many areas I haven't been before. Um, uh. I gotta get rid of that Eden. I might not have enough magic points here. Um, I do have a wand of something. Warping, I guess. There we go. Since I don't want that one, like, next to me when I go back down the staircase. The other dudes are fine. They're just, like, little orcs or whatever, right? Uh... Cross amount of magic points, so it's kind of the firing squad, but it should be fine. Can I just target both those guys? Nice. So I got oh a hellfire motor, a crystal spear, magna vault. I feel like I could use some of those. Um, not right now, but maybe a hellfire motor. That's earth fire, right? Yeah, it's already fifty eight percent failure on it. Um, what's the other crystal spear? Ninety nine percent failure. All right. Uh. I can only hit one guy no matter how I try there, I think. Okay. It's firing squad again, isn't it? That's why I go down here. Yup, it uh, sure is. But at least they're like lined up for a fireball, right? <laughs> And I guess my armor class is pretty decent, which is helping out quite a lot. Um, I need to go up. I think I just fireball this one. If the uh, Santo moves next to me, it's fine. Um, I'm trying to hit this Orc Warrior. There we go. Because I think that was... This has got to be an arch rating, right? There's, uh, there's no way this is anything else after what I've had so far. Okay, it's not just bad luck that every single one's an arch. It really is an arch rating. Yep, like, you can see, because it's got the water on either side of the shops and that certain arrangement, that's always how it is with the archer ending. Don't think any of the other endings do that arrangement, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, yeah, and this is when you don't want to be a weak character going into that ending, because then you just... Can't survive the bombard of the archers. I don't think, oh, what's happened? An alarm went off. Um, it's all right. I've done enough of this level. It shouldn't matter. Getting a lot of the orchestra mines is generally really bad, but yeah, nothing even came along. Ooh, lots of jewelry shops. Those can be good. So, what have we got? Death Talisman for later on. That's nice. Um, I've got a good amulet. The Rig of Cold Protection, a Rig of Magical Power. I've got a protection on, which I kind of want to keep. I also got the poison resist, which I kind of want to keep. But, not necessarily. I've got other things I could swap with. I'll see invisible fire resist. Well, um, hmm. Probably not, really. Maybe, but I don't really need the fire resist. It's just see invisible will be kind of nice. Oh, I can buy, uh, I don't need an identifier. I've got tons of those. There's also an amnesia if I ever need those. So, hold up. My armor wasn't that protective. Let me go look at armor for a second. Chainmail of willpower, sure. What else have we got? Chainmail of fire this right, but it's for sale. Wasn't there... What was it? Swamp Dragon Scales? I'm gonna go try one of those. So I lose half an armor class, but then I can swap that ring out with something good. I might go do that. So. I'm actually kind of tempted to go get myself some magical power. I think that's a good idea. How much does it cost? One, no, 280. This one is. 
Oh, 360, right? These ones are cheaper. Of course, I can't pick it up. Um, I'll drop the ring mail. I'll keep that shield around. What else was there here? I don't know if I want that intelligence. Um, I might drop that cold resist stuff because I got a cold resist now on my cloak and I'll put this on. All right. Well, I've still got a couple ways up, right? I'm pretty sure I needed one of the ways up. And they're probably just tiny little areas like this one, the other one as well. It often is like that with Yorkish mines. Oh, hey, Joe Grant. Um, I could probably get him with a Curari, right? Let's see. He's not immune to oh, resistant to poison or anything. Oh, it's petrified. Nah, I've got to enlighten first. I might mirror him up as well. And then Curari him. <laughs> What's the chance? 40%, maybe not. Um, could just fireball them. <laughs> really? That's not the best. Uh, my bombard him. He's probably trying to bombard me back, but hey, at least there's uh, his clone also bombarding him. Do I want more fire? It's actually kind of cheap. 13 cost, 13.8. It's way cheaper than the uh, 21 cost on transit uh, cages. I might just get it. Not oh, transit cages, conjurations. Um, what's the spellcasting cost? 12. I'll get a little bit more of that. Uh, I'll also get a little bit more shields. All right. Once I train those, I'll probably just get like some more invocations or something. Although, I think I got the channel magic good. Yeah, 5% fail in channel magic. Divine Exegetes will be the next one to get. But that one takes a reasonable amount of investment. Uh, where next? Dun wasn't there something about dungeon level 12? It was like, what's his name? Azrael, I think, on this level somewhere. What am I wielding? Why am I wielding the int one? When did I accidentally change to that one? That doesn't make any sense. I should be using the fire one. Uh, whoa. <laughs> Can't target between those two guys, unfortunately. My channel into magic. Getting just a little bit low there. And I was kind of trapped. In oh, hey, Snog. All right. Curari works on her, right? Um, yes. Good. Well, actually, let's see. 60% of her is not that good. I might just fireball her. How's her armor? Let's take a look. So if I put that on, I lose two armor class. I gain a regen. I do gain point nine of an evasion or something, but I don't think I'll worry about it too much. Um, my cover one's giving poison resist, which is quite nice. <laughs> Maybe I should have drunk a potion of enlightenment, although I'm getting kind of low on those ones, I think, by now. <laughs> What's that one? Uh, not an ogre mage. Ah, uh, it's got 35% of paralysis. How many, I've got one enlightenment. I better just blow it up, but uh, it's not what I want to see. Mm, I'll fireball the speed, or I don't think I'll worry about putting a curari or something on it, because that that's what he stores and they're vulnerable to poison. And of course, slowing them is always nice. Alright, level 15, let's get more intelligence. I think my strengths and decks are doing just fine, so it's probably just intelligence on every time I get a choice. Do I need a hat? I've got a helmet. A helmet's better. And that doesn't look like it's an enchanted hat. If it was a hat of willpower, I'd take it, though. I think I can close the door on this ball to beat or anything. Uh, Challenge magic. 
Dang, uh, Josephine's coming along. What does she have that can affect me? She's got like a bolt of draining or something, right? I don't know if she's got much else. Oh, rope. Oh, let's do the rope of resistance or something, but uh, actually, resistance isn't really what I need either. Um, I can hide behind the peg, maybe this will work. <laughs> I said, of course, I can hail the peg. But I can hide behind this guy so I don't get confused. There we go. Or oh, picked, um, picked up, porkified, whatever it is. Uh oh. That's not going there. These guys drain magic, right? Let's see. They have the, yeah, draining gaze. And if there's two of them looking at me, oh, why did I go into that? That was... Oh, I'm confused. When did I get confused? <sighs> must have hit me. It must have snagged me on the confused um, pretty quickly or something. Did I get through loud just scorched and fox fire? Ah, oh, no. I got a, got a fireball at the end, which was fun there. <laughs> Sell us. Yeah, so it wasn't, wasn't too bad. But I got through what? I think it was only like, I only had to go through like three levels or something without Fireball. I don't like this because there's Asriel around here somewhere. I don't know where. Oh, there he is. I don't want to kill this dude because it's protecting me from damnation. I just want to hit Asriel himself. Ooh, I might drink a healing potion. Okay. There we go. Right, one healing potion I got Asriel. I guess that's, a, that's an okay trade-off, because I knew it was going to be a problem with this whole fire immunity. That's a great thing that I got something that's not fire. You always do have to get something that's not fire as a fire mage. Uh, why can't I explore? Oh, the uh, orange crystal statues. Um, sure. Is that a haste? Might be able to go upon it. Oh, wait, no, it's mine, isn't it? But fear, revelations, and silence. Can I? I can probably afford the spell level right now. I'm with Sif I can forget spells fairly easily as well. Yeah, let's just take the guy's loot while they're not looking. Uh, can I finally put on the shield? No, the bombard's gonna suffer, right? I gotta get um, I gotta get a little bit more earth. I think fourteen's probably not too bad. Besides, if I'm going to get um, Hellfire Mortar, which I probably am, it's not exactly a wasted skill or anything. Yeah, it's immune to fire. Uh, I've got to get it closer, don't I? Is there a maven around here if there's an orange demon? No, there's probably just more demons. Because uh, it got the earlier demon, it would just be a level completely stuffed full of demons, I guess. What's that long blade got this on? It's got two fire, two cold, immunity positive, immunity negative, immunity to electricity. Right, so, um, bombard, I guess? Seven identifiers. There's still not, nothing to identify. I actually need to go find something. How many things are there left to identify? I guess there's probably more than seven. No, there's seven things. All right. Well, I'm not even going to need every last identify then because uh, the last two things you figure out for free, basically. Well, usually. Like, if you only have one scroll left, it's just going to figure out what it is on its own. Um, can I run away here? I think so. These are little channeling magic, and both are fine options. Uh, was that H? No. What is this? E to bombard people. I will channel some magic, I guess.
But I just uh, mounted drop. It's not even that hard for me to get the invocations, right? It's plus three aptitude. That's probably the next uh, next skill after the things I'm currently training to get. Ah, come on. <laughs> One of those we get through, so god, Blazer Golem, Hailstorm. I don't care about the glaciation. The candidate's actually only on like fifth level spells, so I don't think I need it. Ignition's good for later on though. Um <laughs> like I can basically just get it for free. So I'll be getting the fire skill for other things, like maybe a fire storm or something anyway, so that's good against groups of creatures, so it's well worthwhile picking up. Uh I go down another sec, I don't want to be surrounded by green, ugly things. Ah, what's... <laughs> um, paralysis is fine. Might drop the brilliance. Shame doesn't actually give the brilliance effect. <laughs> it looks nice, though. <laughs> Which I could keep on using that one, because it does look kind of nice, but oh well. Oh, um... I'll check out the electric dragon armor. Uh care about the that ring. Fortunately, I had to like swap out the ring to put on poison resist one if I put it on. So my AC increases by three point eight, and my evasion reduces by four point four. But it is a source of resist electric. It's probably not worthwhile. Is that a shapeshifter? It's got to be one, right? It's an unarmed salamander. <sighs> yeah, it is one. It just wasn't shapeshifting, which is making me question if it actually was a shapeshifter, but... It didn't make sense for it to be an actual salamander. Oh, lots of arches. Like in the right shape for a fireball, they're just slightly too far away because <laughs> it's um would be good if you're human or something. And then you'd have the extra range. I might just get a little bit closer. Uh oh, plus one helmet. I got a plus zero right. I yeah, I think my only really excellent gear right now is my cloak, which is a cold resist intelligence one. Plus two intelligence, I think. It's pretty good. Oh, distance not. There's a minotaur around here. Um, Revelations, right? I've got it. I'm pretty sure I've got eight of them. Might as well just use one. I'm right next to it. Uh-oh. What just happened? Not a mic when I was so close. Oh, hey, Agnes. I got a blower up. She's faster than me. Oh, it's not great. Um, I don't think I can get it with a net, can I? Nah, 20%. That's not going to happen. I'm going to mirror up. All right, Agnes. Um, she's going to bash herself. Oh, she didn't bash herself up much. I got a fire. Is this thing going to blow myself up? <laughs> and, like, that actually made sense because um, she has lots of evasion. Fireball's so nice. Yeah, it's not a spell that I use much, but... Oh, this character's getting a lot of use out of it. Oh, I should just... Yeah, this is something else. Alright, maybe I can make it there now. So the drama's stunned or oh, thunderous. Oh, come on. That's not a good sign. I got a chance of magic. Oh, paralyzed. Uh. Oh, come on, I just want this guy in, v in view so I can blow it up. Um, unfortunately, by the time I get my health back, deafening, yeah, it might not survive. Um, might survive, we'll see. Uh, let's drop the... Poison resist, positive energy. Okay, I think I can identify. I'll drop the attraction, might. Okay, I'll go in. I don't want this break. I got a fancy little wizard hat in here. 
It's an artifact. What about these amulets? Artifact, amulet, and normal amulet together. A oh, haste potion on the side? And is that just normal artifact? Yep. Oh, no, artifact, amulet. Hmm. I don't want. I mean, my amulet's pretty good, right? Oh, more amulets on the side. It's a normal one I won't need because I got the magic regen one. So I'm going to try my shield again. Let's see. Bombard's on 17%. That's what I'm worried about. The sub is on 6%, which is not too bad. I might try with the heavier shield for a little while. Okay. So, if you're going to go through these two areas, so there's a lightning side, that's definitely doable. But it's just an amulet, or there's all these ones. Which I think it's also doable, despite the Catablephus guys. I take this side, I think the loot's a bit better. Alright, what's the hat? Resist poison. I lose two or three armor class to get a resist poison. Um Huh. If I wanna if I need to resist electric, I mean that's a way of getting it. I could put on the storm dragon armor, but <laughs> not the most urgent thing in the world. Okay, so when I start fighting Catablephus guys, I gotta be a little bit careful with those. And this guy just dodges everything. I should be able to at least get it with some fireballs, right? Oh, maybe not. It's like 90% of chance I had. It's not too bad. All right, well, don't really care about the regen. Now it's time for the Minotaur. What do I want to do? I've got a no mirror. It's still recharging. Uh, right. How the Minotaur going? It doesn't even have a lot on it. Um, can I hit it with a Curari? That would be nice. 70%, there we go. And I could probably put it on a net as well. And then just fireball it. Actually, no, I might start busting because it's in a net. Oh, wait, no, I can't because the crystal walls. I also would have hit myself. So we got heal wounds, got some small mammals, soul splinter, dragon blood talisman? I don't know if I need that. I might just leave it. Silver javelins? Do I need those? I don't know, I'm not like really that tempted or anything. Also, is that identify can be used on a potion? Invisibility. Alright. Yeah, I think I think I've done here. I think I can get out. That wasn't too bad. I could have had a poison resist. Oh, it's a plus two hatch. Same as my helmet, right? Uh check on this armor again. Right, so I would actually lose a little bit of defense putting on that armor. Um I probably need a little bit of more armor skill to kind of make that work. I'm not getting, and I might not. Do I plan on getting that soon? I might not plan on getting that soon. I got all the other things I need to work on. Oh, digging. Three. Might just get myself some more digging. Digging's always good. I don't know, sometimes I don't run out of digging. Sometimes I got plenty left over, but... Three really isn't that much. Uh, cultist. Wait, uh, wait, an occultist. Hold up. Ah, so I'm banishment on 30 something percent. It's probably almost dead, but I might just get some willpower. How it was almost dead, I could have just fireballed it. Oh well. That's the thing, like, you never really know. Um,. And they're invisible, like cow. Oh, shoot. 
I don't know. <laughs> Could have fireballed just as easily if they both would have hit me. Right, so I got a choice between the swamp or the spider nest. I think maybe the swamp. I don't really like doing the spider nest first. Oh, how many death yikes have I left on this level? A lot. Bring this dude upstairs. <laughs> Is that the fire rage? I'll probably be starting a lot of fire so in the swamp because I got the fireball and the star burst as two of my main attacks. Alright, level 16. Oh, clever. So I'm down to 40% failure on the Bombard. And Fireball's nice in here, just blowing everyone up. Uh... Oh, whoops. Ah, I could have hit both of those. It doesn't really matter. Wait, what's this? Plus one, I think, the helmet, which is the same as what I've got. Oh, there's a Hydra, yep. This is when it's good to be on Channel Magic, because of these creatures I can't really escape from. Um, I'm so much slower than them. Oh, how am I misguessing my fireball? Let's take a look at that. 1%, okay, it's not too bad. Just worried that like it had some strength rain or something. It's one fire resist. Oh, I'll probably just keep him fireballing it. The other option is to hit it with a stone uh bomb bar, but I think it's just worth fireballing. Uh what was this dude? Willpower resist corrosion see invisible. Hmm, I might pick it up. Willpower's kinda nice as a swap. See, especially seeing I'm out of my potions as well now. Um, it's all my staircases. Oh well. Um, I saw channel magic because yeah, I mean, there's no, there's no running from this because then I'd be straight back down the staircase, and that's definitely not a great idea. <laughs> Uh, I want to know what this does. Is that great? Okay, I can stay on the floor in that case. I'm just behind the door. Oh, a random door there. Oh, I don't think I can... I can't fireball a good spot in there to get everyone. I know you've got to be really careful with those bunny ups in here, because they can do... they can do massive amounts of damage. Um... What do I do with this Hydra? Might just channel some magic and then take it out. I think of, like, getting it with, a. Uh, like a warping or something, but it felt a bit risky putting myself like randomly into the center of the level or something. I don't really need strength. It helps with a shield. Alright, so we got this dude with Curari. This dude was Chaos. Trine of Chaos. Uh, I don't really need a better cloak. Mine's pretty good. And we've got Ivo Gones. Ghost, they're a genie hunter of Ash and Zari. I got uh, Conjurable Lightning. That sounds kind of deadly without the Resistor Lightning on. I uh, definitely had to put Resistor Lightning on before going in there, which I can get. Um, yeah, my main way of getting Resistor Electric would be through swapping on that armor.
Oh, wait. Uh, I should probably just give him five bombing, but it's got fifth. No, 41% on the paralysis. Yeah, I mean, that one I just had to kill quick because I can't really get the willpower very easily. What do we got here? Oh, a radiate. I might better use that. I got, um, got conjuration. I don't have alchemy, but I still might better use it. Uh, am I going to need to channel? Probably. Ah, yeah, I guess so. A genie goes with the most random spells. Yep. They probably blew themselves up with like a uh, ball lighting or something. Because they, they must have gotten into the spell casting because the ghost only keeps the spells you've actually got reasonably castable, right? So yeah, they're probably just blowing themselves up with ball lightning. Which is actually sometimes kind of fun, but I'm not sure it's ever that optimal. Also, Rove Archmagic with minus seven magic points? Nah. Nah, it's not worth it. <laughs> Might as love some large magic. It's way too light for this character as well. Where am I going? I'm getting alarmed. That's fine. I'm basically done. Oh, cool. That's really tough. Uh, it's almost dead, but yeah. Why just go up? Yeah, my wait. I only spawn staircase. Huh. I guess. Yeah, I guess there's still some of this level unexplored. Did I have anything for CM as well? Um, I don't know if I do. I might just drop that one though. Uh, gotta be something else I could drop. I dropped the might, right? I dropped. That's probably everything I want to drop right now. Oh, that's fine. Most of these are summoned. These guys aren't, so I'll blow these guys up. Uh... Gotta be careful because there's guys that explode down here. Oh, they did get next to me. Probably got enough armor class for this to be fine. Yup. I'm already slowed. I don't think it matters if this guy hits me too much. I mean, it's not ideal. Sounds of magic, but hmm. Come on, what's the chance of hitting this guy? Might just fire bullets, that will guarantee it dies. I care about Guardian Spirit, don't care about Reflection. Alright. Oh, I gotta slow it again. My lack of willpower. Striking again. Uh, chainmail fires us the magic points. It's only plus zero though. Plus one chainmail fires us again. Still not worth it because I want to be wearing. Um, oh wait, my class already plus two. Wearing the other stuff. Uh, boots. I got plus zero. All right. Excellent. Swamp down to three, but I got one more level of swamp. And I've got a phantom mirror in case I get a Lunar and Hydra, which sometimes works to take it out, but I still got to be incredibly careful. I think I got some blinking scrolls in case things go horribly wrong. Yeah, I got five of those. Uh, I might go up. Get the magic points back and then deal with this guy. Hmm. Still fine. I am currently in some in a cloud though, aren't I? I think it's fine to go up. The alligators will drag you off staircases. Yeah, like that. <laughs> I'll tell it again. So you gotta be a bit careful with that when you're trying to go up those staircases. Um, it's okay if it's just an alligator around, but 
yeah, definitely not great. Um, I haven't figured out where the rune vault is just yet, but if I see a whole swarm of creatures coming from the same direction, that can be a giveaway. Hey, I've got a lot of anhydra. <laughs> um, I think I might start a tally bot. All right. It's going to be fast all this water around as well, but I think I've got time to type it out. Well, I guess that reveals where my rune um, area is. Reach my target for Earth, all right. Down to 8% on the Bombard, which is not too bad for a backup spell. Fire's still going, which is fine. Helping with the Starburst down to 2%, which is great. But I'm outside of range of that alarm trap, just making sure. What's this dude got a trident of cold resist, willpower resist, corrosion? What they carry around? It was like, uh, all Sambas ones that are cold resist. I don't know. Probably the Sambas ones slightly better. Look at the Hydra managed to avoid the. No, the Buddy up managed to avoid the Might. Not so much for the Hydra, though. Um, I think this is gonna die. There we go. Was that a source of some malevolence that teleported me into there? I'm pretty sure it was, yeah. <laughs> no, I think, I think it did say it was. It was a very well-chosen spot for it. Uh, and unfortunately, had characters died to like really badly placed uh, sources malevolences previously. Ones that would put me into the center of some really bad enemies. I mean, it only tends to really happen if your teleport doesn't do what it's meant to, to get you out of there. And you just get stuck in there for just too many turns. I'm gonna have a, no, I'm not going to have a channel. No, um, I might identify this. So I'm going to... Oh, scroll of poison's useful. That was resist the lead trick. It's a quick swap. I might drop the intelligence item. Oh, hold on, this guy is resistant to fire. Um, I'll try and zap it with a um, bombard. It does something. I'm just not convinced that it was better than just having the guy with like um, something it was resistant to, but I do more damage with it. Probably was slightly better. Oh, whoops. I didn't even notice there was a Hydra there. Whoops. Um, let me just do some whopping. That's fine. Still a little bit more warping. Yeah, so those, I don't really take damage to the warping. Oh, none of us warped? Well, that was a little unfortunate. To be fair, it is like a one quarter chance of neither of us warping, I think, each time I do it. Oh, it's all destruction. I can probably grab that one. Or recently, your teleport traps put you next to one monster at the edge of line of sight. I mean, that's a, that's probably a good spot to point you, right? Because uh, is the Sorceress Malevolence more likely to put you next to enemies or something? I seem to remember one of them's got a higher chance of putting you next to monsters. I might get a Hellfire Mortar. Yeah, it's not the obvious strike time. I'm just get a Hellfire Mortar. Um... I need, like, fragile more skill to get the Hellfire Mortar going, but not much. Because, what, 12% failure? Hmm. But I might actually just get a little bit more armor. Oh, and I was also meant to get some more invocations as well. Try and get the, um, exit years going. Hey, Lani. Um, do I have a roots? I don't have a roots. Okay, I'll do the mirror though. There we go. Look at that. Lani and I tried to the the mirrored one. 
That's kind of it's kind of funny when that happens. But there's also a chance of the the actual one killing your mirror before it does nothing. So it's kind of like a fifty percent chance of just insta killing the Lone and Hydra when you do that. Or it always puts you next to enemies. I feel like a I feel like um Oh, but there's a lot of variants. I feel like there's a higher chance of the source of malevolence on putting the ace enemies right. Uh, where something like a shaft is there that tries to put you somewhere without enemies, I think. It's something like that. I know the I know some of those things do take enemies into account. But I'm not actually 100% sure that the teleport one does. It might be the shaft trying to put you not next to enemies. Anyway, let's... What do I drop? <laughs> I drop my wand to flame. I don't think I need that one. I got like so many sources of steam here. Alright. I'm done. I can go to... Do I find some spiders? No, I might go to the vaults. Although I might have to swap my armor. Let's try putting on the storm dragon armor and see how that is. So... Oh, Bombard's back up to 40% failure, Hellfire and 22% failure, but oh, it's probably fine. It does give me the resist electric, which is more important in here. And um, there's some resist poison. Oh, the dungeon shafts try to put you away from enemies. Others are random, right? Right, just specifically the dungeon ones. I guess that makes sense because the dungeon um Oh, I'm confused, of course. The dungeon, like, going down on that is, um... It's probably one of the branches that increases the most rapidly in toughness. Like, other branches going from the end or the start doesn't matter too much. Whereas, obviously, if you start at the end of the dungeon, you probably just die on the way up. Oh, Okay. Well, I guess I gotta bombard this guy. <laughs> gotta watch my health very carefully, but I think that's fine. What about this guy? Fire resist. Huh. Uh. That guy just blocked his own friends to, from getting at me? It might have. Oof. Miscast in there, but I think I'm still fine. Uh, I want this guy over here to die. Wait, it's not the one that was meaning to. I must mean my bus. Not that great though. <laughs> um, good. At least I can finally retreat back. Ooh. I think I'll keep on retreating. In fact, I think there's nothing stopping me getting all the way back to the staircase here. Yep, and just healing up. And I don't have enough willpower to stop myself getting constantly marked, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, but, oh well. Got one color this right? Yeah, I do. So I've got to be very careful with those guys, though. This is certainly a step up in toughness, though, from where I was in the swamp. Uh... Love when things light up perfectly for my spells. Oh, experience potion. Um, might drink that right now, actually. I think I do want some experience. So, yeah, I mean, these just uh, progress a little bit. I'm still not a huge level for where I am, so, yeah, definitely something I need. Uh oh, that's a jellyfish. Can I just close the door on it? I don't think a jellyfish can open the door. They can, like, I uh, don't know if it's blink, but they do something that gets them up to you really quickly. So. And then they constrict you, which is really nasty, so you have to be kind of careful with them. Um, they 
also pause you out, which I currently have no resistance to, because I took that one off. Uh, oh. Ah. Everything is going to be shooting at me, right? I think it's okay, and now I just need to retreat up, I think. Oh, it's the one that uh, polymorphs me. Um, oh, Channels of Magic. What? How are these not lined up? There we go. I just got, oh, Chain Lightning, Malign Gateway, Arc Jolt. Well, I probably never get those, um, <laughs> but it gets me, I don't know. Chain Lightning was almost exciting, but I, I don't think I'll ever get enough air for that one. What do I get now? Um, it's reasonably cheap to get the Earth Magic. I might get that up a couple of points. The armor actually seemed reasonably worthwhile, so I might get that up to like 14 as well. How's my fighting? I might get the fighting up to 14 as well. That's a good thing about the Mountain Dwarves. They're good at the whole fighting side of things as well as the spellcasting side of things. Uh, oh, whoops. That was not the right place to run. <laughs> Whatever, I'll just head over the warping or something. I still got plenty of warping at least. Oh, someone's been butchering things. There's probably some meat in here, no? Yeah, there it is. A little sausage for me. Magically preserved pepperoni pizza. Alright. It was kind of funny how uh, for a little while, like, people in Lichform could eat those pizzas. In fact, they could eat anything, but uh, it was funny when they were eating pizzas. That's a lot of haste. I kind of like the look at this. I might just grab them all. I actually want the alignment, too. Uh... Oh, that's brilliant. That's a perfect job. Zam's distillery, right? Should I emulate these guys? How many have I got? I've only got three. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Watch the orcs burn. There we go. That's a true fire mage move right there. Watch an entire room full of orcs die. I think I've got endless identifiers, but I don't think I've got anything left to identify, right? I've done all the potions. I got acquirement, brand, and torment. Um, I could probably just like read those as soon as I find them. I could drop the identifier if I need the space, I think. I should be able to hit that guy. Oh, why he's telling me I can't, but I definitely could have that guy. Uh, should I just change his color? I just gotta change the ugly thing's color. There we go. <laughs> I mean, it does take me a turn to change his color, and I could take it out with the iron shot, but I think it's still a terrible idea. Um... I could have had two of those guys when I just had one. Let's retreat back because there's a guy that seals doors there. Did I can't retreat back too far because it's kind of a dead end. Uh, somebody just had a channel magic or something. Maybe, maybe not. There we go. I gotta remember that I got some Quicksilvers on me, so if the recall guys start recalling, I can just hit them with a Quicksilver. Alright, got Dragon's Call, Spellforge Shavatar. Well, not too bad, but they're not what I'm after. Hey, look at that, a Firestorm. Right, well, if a Sif Mana doesn't give it to me first, I'm taking that book. Go Yara's Wind Unraveling, Passive Galabria, Dispersal, Gels, Gravot, Teleport Alder. I might eventually get a Dispersal, but it's not the most important. 
cause fear and feeble anguish. Polavotics refrigerator and simulacrum. Plasma and vice electric charge and arc jolt. All right. Well, I think the most important thing there is a firestorm. Yeah, that stuff can. Ugh, it's not that important. I'll probably get it anyway from Sif Mana. I hide around this corner, but I will take a little bit of damage moving around this corner. Mm, I should just take out the arches, I think. There we go. <laughs> At some vague point in the future, I should also think about upgrading my shield, but I don't think there's any hurry on that one. I think a uh, kite shield's fine for now. Although, if there's a better kite shield to take it, positive buckler, actually. Tell me about that one. So, if I put it on, um, I get one evasion, and I lose 2.5 shield. It's probably not worth it. But if I'm trying to pull off a uh, uh, fire storm or something, I might have to go through the buckler for a little while. Well, this guy's guarding kind of blinking. What is that? Dex's Ghost. They're a Formicid Fighter of Okawaru. 50 damage? 250 health? How do they have 250 health at this point in the game? I know they're like a Formicid and stuff, but I'm a Dwarf, and Dwarves are reasonably healthy, and I've only got like 150 something health. Um, yeah, I don't know. Also, how do they die with that much health? That's like a lot of health to have. I think I probably lagged or resist or something. Oh, town magic, I guess. Or is that shield? That might be useful. No, plus the archite shield. Who? Can I shoot the bog out? I think I can. Channels the magic, I think I need it. Uh also rain to really quick, so it's good, right? Yeah, so I can just blast that guy at range and stop it recalling anything. Uh what's that item? Scale mail, positive energy, nah. I won't worry about the evasion, I've got the Actually, evasion's not terrible. I've got the protection on. I don't know. Could swap them around if I wanted to, but I'll just keep it the protection. Oh, was that the ghost name? Oh, never mind. No bot. Yeah, I could, uh, could go check if that, um, if that ghost is like a real person or not. It'd be interesting, though, to know, because, um, I don't know if I've seen them on the server, so they might not be real. Not the swamp dragon armor. It's fine, but that's just might even be better than my current armor outside of here. Oh, bizarre. That's something I want. Uh... Okay, I got the magic mapping. I got tons of those, so. That's just the other side I see. Let's head straight towards what I think is a sensible plan. If I need magic points, I can channel them in. But I probably won't run too much out of magic points. It's probably the health that's going to be the problem if anything. Or the love trap, that could also be a problem. Um. <laughs> Oh, now bike, yep, looks like I'm going the right direction. I'll see if I can drop anything before I go in as well. 
all the fake ghost names are pretty distinctive. I mean, I guess there's, a, there's ones that keep like, coming up over and over, right? It's like, I actually, Plog is a real person as well on the server, I think. Um, I can't actually look that up right now, can I? It's a bot, bot there. Probably not. Oh. Uh, hey, the bot's awake. Okay, so I can actually check now. See if uh, Dexer is a real person. And I might just... Nah, no, nope. Dex is not a real person. <laughs> it was the bot. I don't want to drop. I might drop the... Oops, that's obviously the wrong screen. I might drop the polymorph. Um... Oh, I can drop the identify. Could leave the amnesia outside. Or should I should probably go reach one of those identify on the scroll I'm carrying around. All right, it's torment. Good, good. I can drop that. Probably stuff first. I don't use enough first spells for that to matter right now. Um, yeah, that's enough room. Let's go in. <laughs> a little friendly kobold wandering around inside the bookstore. Oh, Book of Annihilation. Should I just buy it? Let's see what else is here. Right, there's also a manual of alchemy. I don't think uh, I don't think I'm really into alchemy. A poison with a strength ring. That's probably not the most useful. There's a willpower. There's a wizardry. Oh, these are like. Those are maybe things. Let's see what else there is. Uh, brilliance. Actually, I should... Yeah, these look pretty good. Mutation. I might not have enough money for this stuff. Hatch of the Bear Spirit. It gives two willpower. But Spirit Guardian. Um, it might feel right. I probably don't need the Annihilations. Like, I've got the other book outside of here and stuff. And I've got Sif Mana, but... I go 15 runes again. I got it, right, Sally? Because uh, I'm on a 15 rune streak still, so... <laughs> yup, definitely will. Oh, so many potions. Um... Uh... What's the value of all the stuff I've got? Oh, slots. Yeah, there's no way I buy that Book of Annihilations, is there? Um... Oh, this one's more expensive than the Book of Annihilations, but I'll get money. Uh... Instead of buying that ring of willpower, I might put on the hat of the bear. It does mean I can't do melee attacks anymore because then I go random rage, but I think that I think that spirit guardian is not too bad. Um Alright, let's go grab some of the consumables as well. It's like the mutation, haste, brilliance. Maybe the enlightenment. They're actually pretty cheap. I might grab them. Oh. <laughs> I'm out of money. All right, well, that answers whether I'm going to get those rings or not. Let's put on the hat. Um, can I say Mama Claus? I need to mark my weapon as don't attack, though. Wherever that is. And my inventory? There it is. Uh... Spirit is good on Sif Mana. Yeah, it's not, it's not terrible on Sif Mana, because, I mean... It's usually bad because you run out of magic points too easy, but it should be fine when I can channel in magic. And I guess it's like extra hit points. Oh, I can't afford these health potions, uh, resistance potions. Oh, well, that's fine, I guess. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I bought what I can. And also, is my willpower good? Now it's three. I might not be able to be polymorphed anymore. Yeah, it's 0%. I can still be marked, but like, it's probably 10% or something. 3%? Oh, wow. I just get a Book of Annihilations. Well, it doesn't matter I didn't buy the Book of Annihilations because it's right there on the ground. Grabs the other Sif Mana. I'm going to send on that alarm trap. Um, oh, whoops, don't do that. Oh, I shouldn't have gotten ace of that wall. Oh, well. Let's kill that guy. Uh, this guy could get like a mind bus or whatever. Or could channel magic. We'll see. I think a mind bus will take it out. There we go. Fire storm shatter. Added everything to my library. Well, everything that actually 
matters, all the higher level stuff. Let's look at the final song. I reckon it's not castable at all. 100% fairly not a surprise. Or that fire conjuration, so those are probably my next things to work on, I reckon, with this character. Uh, maybe it should be one ford so these guys can't surround me, but it's all right. Do you have any better spider spells? Um, I have the Hellfire Modder on the way. Actually, it's 40% failure. I might give it a try. I got Ignition as well, but uh, I don't know about that one right now. Actually, that Hellfire Modder is doing quite a bit, isn't it? It's not having to fireball everything for so much magic points. All right. I might just rebind it, actually. Oh, not inventory. <laughs> Still not quite there. Still got the failure. Does this do care about fireballs? It doesn't, right? I can just, yeah, I can just fireball it just fine. The traps are good in, right? No, oh, not quite. I can't quite put it in the spot that traps it. Would have been fun, though. Well, that's always a fun one to do with that. Oh, there's a... Uh, block someone's attack. Wait. Oh, I might put on the C invisible for a second. Oh, it's a little dude. Okay. Uh, can my... Can my dude see... If Invisible can. That's fine. Uh, is that bad? Because the door's going to be sealed on me. <laughs> Funny traffic those guys are there. Uh, what's this guy got? It's got something bad. Tropative darts, actually, that's not too bad. That's gonna do the most magic efficiency, I think, and just... Oh, what has happened to me? Blind and confused. Oh, the color actually depends on, like, what I got hit by. That's kind of cool. Uh, I guess. It was like green for dropper. Both of the other colors, I know it was like a white one for something. Uh, I don't remember exactly what that one's from. Anyway. Let's blow this guy up. Be humans would be pleased with this character because I'm using Hellfire. That's Be humans favorite spell, right? Uh, do I just let's blow this guy up with fire? I guess. You know, if it's, I think it's resistant. Excellent. Three levels of Vault start. I'll do the first four levels and then I have willpower now, so I could probably go to the um Elven Halls or something. There's a. Was love around here? Let's go find it. I'd go around the long way. It's like right next to me, but I can't get to it that easy. Uh, what? Try to cast this dude. I've oh, got conjurable lightning. Oh, well, that's not a not a massively useful spell, but I feel like it got most of the useful stuff. Someday I'll, I'll succeed. Oh, stone. 
Don't isolate get myself inside. It's a good thing I put don't attack on my weapon. Uh, willpower's fine, right? I don't think I need any more of that. Drop the helmet. I think I'm liking this hat of the bear so far. It's still on the trick. Um, I might drop the poison resist hat as well. I technically don't have any poison resistance on right now. I'll drop the willpower as well. I don't think I need that. Um, keep the silence. It's unlikely to be useful. It's even on a major can occasionally be useful. Well, it's this was lab. It's a, it's a flashy one. Like Sega 2 of his armor in it and maybe a few other things. I mean, there's no one to a cage. Oh, wait, that one's fiery. Uh, I'm burning it anyway. Oh, no, I'll hit it with a iron shot. There we go. <laughs> I left my uh, polymorph out of here, so I can't exactly change these guys' shape or anything. Ah, what am I doing? Just trying to target this guy, but obviously I'm doing that completely wrong. Actually, what is this thing? It's a flesh golem. Also, immune to fire? Hold up. Hold up. No point in burning something that's immune to fire. That's kind of silly. Ugh. Uh, I have Devastation should be fine. Yeah, those are just shapeshifters. I'm pretty sure that guy is as well. A lot of things in here are just shapeshifters. Which makes sense given the theme of this place. So what is that? Like a sickly orc or something? A feeble orc? What on earth is a feeble orc? A poor creature that looks hideously deformed. It's like missing an arm or something. Poor thing. I think an arrow to be starburst. I mean, the guys are lining up for it, so <laughs> might as well. Hey, there we go. My collection of mutation potions brings me up to 19 of those. I was going to get a death talisman going eventually as well, so I can kind of lock in my mutations at some stage. Is that true of a pig corpse, the Sigurd Troopers monster? A mutant beast corpse, the Sigurd Troopers monster? Dude, it looks, well, looks kind of like a pig corpse to me anyway. Intelligence stuff and talisman, not worth it. I, uh, I would never really need a storm stuff and talisman either, but oh well. What's just having like gruesome horns. Well, it's, oh no, antenna. It's a good thing I put on a hat instead of a helmet, right? Because that doesn't actually matter right now. Um... Come on. I might have to challenge the match. No, not quite. Just because it heals up every time it shape shifts. <laughs> or like on this little fragile like on me. Was that always a thing? I'm sure that did used to always be a thing. That's really nice. That's fairly obvious when you look at it. Oh, I don't want to get hit by that guy. Definitely not. Not when I'm fragile. Uh, it's gonna move up, I guess not anymore. It's got oh, it doesn't even have a sling actually. It turned into a satire, which always have slings, but of course, uh, um, shape shifted ones don't because they don't start with items like the, the actual real ones do. Oh, fighting is 14. Is that my limit? It is. And the armor's going to hit 14 as well, so I'm going to need another skill. Oh, the icons that you heard? Yeah, definitely. That doesn't look the... I don't... I haven't seen it before. <laughs> no, that's nice. Oh, do I need fire at us or something? Uh, actually, I might not get the earth. I might just get fire to like 26 or something. 
Uh, Conjuration Fire, maybe? Uh, maybe, uh, no, the Conjuration can stay behind a bit, because I don't need that for the, this one. The Mortar. I do need it for some of my other things, like Starburst, I guess. With Hellfire Mod, you can kill all the jailed monsters here. Wait, oh, because it goes through walls, doesn't it? Which? Oh, I want to pick those off for some reason. That's that's an interesting thought. Yeah, I guess I can give it a try, right? So... Uh, not diggable wall. What about these ones? Oh, those ones are diggable. Right, okay, I see how this works. Might as well go uh, get rid of all the jailed creatures. Oh, that's a shapeshifter. <laughs> Not it's going to be a little worm in here. So if I fire it off that way, yeah. That's one room cleared out. Uh, let's do the next one. Come on, just let me heal up some... It's silly how those guys interrupt with their shape-shifting. Um, there really is no reason for that when you're safe from them. What other rooms do I have? I've just got the ones down the main passageway, don't I? Got something. Got a book of the hunter. That's no, nah, that doesn't sound helpful. It's got cool Kato familiar biting sigil. Wait, is there one more dude on the other side of this area? I'm not sure. I can't even get to it. <sighs> Whatever. Mess cast twice on the Royal Strike the third time. And I don't think anything at all here can fly, right? So it's just like free XP, basically. Nope. <laughs> I believe this is the last of the creatures, unless I'm mistaken. There we go, and I should just be able to get out of here. Actually, I'll take for items, make sure I haven't missed anything. Sega Tuvas and Berets? Uh... Huh. I suppose I go get that one, actually. I don't know if I'll wear it, because it's kind of... It's like light armor, which is not the best. But I might pull it out of here. Can I fly? <laughs> I don't think so. It's just, uh, there was a shortcut there if you could fly, because I could... I could go through the wall with my... Um, what's it called? My Hellfire Modder. Oh, wait. The bottle's up. I went past the bottle. It's up here. Alright, there we go. I'm down with that place. Oh, what's I do against those guys? I can't mod them, can I? Might it up. I've got to pull it around the corner, though. I don't want to mind it. I might just quicksilver it. I might have the fire storm to have it on. No, that's a good point. Let's see how armored it up it is. So I'd lose 7.5 armor class, gain 3.4 evasion. I mean, it might be worthwhile, yeah? I thought do something and take it off. It's not too bad, right? It's uh, just a little bit of temporary drain. Oh, it's definitely it's definitely worth thinking about um, when I'm trying to firestorm. Although my current armor, how much penalty is it on this one? It's not too bad, I don't think. 
It would usually be 15, except it's actually seven and a half for me, right? I don't know how it rounds. It might not round. Uh, is that going to be a problem? I don't think so. Oh, what? Oh, out of magic points, I see. Pull these guys back into an area with a bit of a Hellfire model. That seems to work quite well. I might need another one. Other than the Fireball's doing a lot to these guys. And I could just shoot that. Uh, no, those walls aren't diggable. I was thinking I could like shoot it straight through them. If I just like help, I'm all that way. Oh, I miss cars, but it doesn't matter. So he's gonna even move up to me. I don't think they're like stuck on the other side of the fire. Uh, the mic doesn't matter. I'll just hide in this corner, I think. If I need to, I'll channel my magic, but I might not need to do that either. So, God, oh, Death Star. That's not a bad one because I can divine inks of Jesus, which I hopefully got going. 2% failure. That's not bad. Yeah, and then uh, you can't die for a little while, except once it ends, you're on like low hit points. Um, so, you got to get somewhere safe in a little while at last. But it's that's definitely a good thing to have on divine inks of Jesus. It doesn't work, unfortunately, in Lich form, so I won't be able to use it later on. Gonna melt too much. Uh, I think it's gonna be fine because they're dying as well. Right, so Elven Hall's right. So I got four of us of willpower, gonna cold resist, I gonna electric resist, and gonna fire resist. Yeah, I mean, those seem fine. Let's go to the, let's go see the elves. I don't know if letting this get close to made sense. Um. I don't really move up a lot. The good thing about elves is they don't have a lot of health, um, and they rely kind of heavily on evasion, so they get fireball pretty well. Oh wait, uh, this guy doesn't fireball so well though. It's a, it's a weapon. I think it's got two fires or something. It's not quite immune, but it's a oh. A lot. Um, hey, Roxanne. I've only got 170 health. Um, I can silence up if I have to, but I think I just run away. There we go. And I'm gonna airport that scroll because I got airportation sitting somewhere. Pretty sure these uh, little guys, whatever they call the thermic dynamos, are immune to elemental stuff. And they also apparently have pots on the head. It's like 50%. Do I have an irradiate or something? I don't think I do right now. I just gotta keep on trying to actually manage to hit it. Um, okay, got one hit on it. Uh, yeah, I should go. I know I saw a radiate somewhere, so I should go see if I can get it going. 28% failure. If I get a little bit of alchemy, I can probably get that going. Um, start with Scotch. Or Foxfire, I mean. Uh, I should just do the alchemy. Let's get... I'll start with... I'll start with 6 points, see if that's enough. It's probably enough. I don't think this character does the Hall of Blades because I'm just not very good at taking out weapons with the fact that they're so resistant to fire and everything. Okay, we got a healing potion. That's fine. Or oh, magic potions. Those are fine. 
I don't think I buy those right now. I think I save up for the death talisman. Um, and try and get that one going at some stage. I'd love to get the fire storm going as well. I might try the fire storm and then the death talisman, maybe in that order. I don't know, I've got a lot of things to get going, and they're gonna get heavier armor as well at some stage. Oh, hey Louise. She's got a big shield. What is her shield? Plus zero, okay. I might just stop it getting to me. Wait, my... Dude hit the... Other guy. I don't understand that. This guy's immune to fire. I thought... I don't know. I thought my, um... Mortar. Is it? But it's partly physical. So it's part of magma, right? Yeah, that's partly physical. Okay, so I should be killing weapons with like the that guy, then the the bolt of magma, dude. The mortar. Yeah, like that. That's actually really effective. Um. <laughs> Uh, okay, there's books I've already read that Sif Mata though for you, you get all the books and you don't have to worry too much. Alright, first level done. Let's go down. The second level doesn't have too much if I'm not doing the Hall of Lights. Whatever. Oh, Sarian. Hey, Sarian. Um... Might go up the staircase and come down somewhere else for him. Can I irradiate this dude? Let's see. 30%? Yeah, it's not too bad. Oh, didn't even die. Three irradiates again. I must not have much power on my irradiate. Which I guess shouldn't be a big surprise. I haven't really expected him to write stuff for it. Oh, it's right there, huh? Maybe I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have got the attention of this guy. Um, I can head up with uh. Oh, the worst mile? I'll try a mind burst, but I'm probably gonna have chance. Oh wait, mind burst doesn't even work. I don't know, I might just be able to take it out with a radiate. There we go. Some of these are repelling missiles, which is fine, it just makes them a little bit harder to damage. I think there's still a dude this way. I don't even think I hit it with the fireball. Maybe it's dead. All right, I got another different staircase because I don't want to be next to a staring, I don't think. Um... What am I also? Fire magic, I think, mainly. But I do have to get some conjuration as well at some stage. Um... Oh. All right, well, I get intelligence. I can actually take on the fire, so I'm pretty sure it's not going to be there, though. It's on 100% failure. Yep, although the ignition's like 20% failure. I might be able to get that one soon. There's been a few situations in here where dumping in an ignition could have been a good idea with those enough elves kind of grouped up. Uh, doubt there's anything in here, but there's a small chance of an elemental stuff, but not today. So we've got the novelist. No, no, the stuff is good. Oh, I haven't seen an elemental staff in some time at, at this point. Uh... 
Actually, I feel like I did have a maybe a fighter character get it kind of somewhat recently. I didn't know it made for a while though. Oh. I must pull this guy back or something. No, I go up again. I, I don't have full magic. I could just channel some in, but I think it's better just uh swap staircases. Oh. Draw those, exclude off all the blades. It's also, this might be one where the creatures could dig out as well, right? Like, if they open that door, they can dig through here. It's funny how there's so many hold of blades where the creatures can just dig out for whatever reason. Um... Because usually the vaults try to avoid the diggable walls and areas that can we just get to else refrigeration. Huh. Sure, I don't really care about that. So I've already looked at a web shop. Why did the audio explorer want to look at a web shop I've already looked at? I thought I'd try to avoid the stuff I'd already looked at, but that's fine. Doesn't really matter. Okay, there we go. Sterian. Um there he is. Oh, did I just miscast? I think so. <laughs> Funny driving by lava. The theory is the green demon could have gone, uh, could have gone into a bad spot, but it didn't do anything. What? Why am I looking at the shop again, Auto Explorer? Oh, this is like the third time I've looked at that one. Apparently, it's a very important shop. At least they're going to Auto Explorer. Uh. <laughs> Alright, uh, one more level of the Elven Halls, the tough level though. Must not take escape patches because they almost certainly will lead to all the blades. That means that the fire uh, ball still works pretty well on the tough elves, right? Where's my irradiate? It's 8% failure now. It's probably as good as it needs to be. Which is a good thing because I'm not actually training up the skills to make it better. Um... What do the thermic dynamos replace? I'm sure maybe they were just a new thing that was added, but I thought there was something that they replaced. I can't even remember what... No, oh, maybe they didn't actually replace anything. Well, they can't have, right? Because there's still, like, earth elementals and everything. I don't know. Still air elementals, which can't open doors for looks of things. That's mm, fine. Shoot that way. That guy should be able to open the door. There we go. Oh, it smashed over the door. It could have just opened it like a normal person, but no one decided to smash its way through it. And Elvis meant to have like grace and stuff, not just smash down doors. Oh, this is the top elves. Oh, let's move back to the side. Uh, I'll do the rest of the level. There's actually not a lot more to do. Oh, wait, this is the only, only way to go. All right. It's too wide, which I think it means they can't block it using the Hellfire motor. Might need to channel some magic. Uh, I'll definitely hide around the corner for a little while. Oh, 
I wonder if they're like the um, annihilator that was chasing me. Did it blink behind some water or something and get stuck in my death? Because it doesn't need to be following anymore. I guess a conjuration, I should. Um, let's get that up to uh, 26 as well or something. Oh. Somebody's got a leather armor of the armored one. It does three and two slang. Nah. Oh, I shot the wrong spot again. Okay. Uh, seems faster than me. I might get some backup and irradiate it. Actually, I should take the chance of banishment is 0%, right? Good. Because I do have the good willpower thanks to my um, Hat of the Bear. It's funny how the Hat of the Bear, like, uh, you basically use it on any character that can't berserk. It's uh, kind of a nice hat. Oh, whoa, whoa. scale mail? Resist the light or too far resist? Oh, it's, um, this is a plus zero. Disappointing. If it had a higher bones to it, it might actually be kind of nice. What's if Marta giving me Marta's nail and a summon Hydra? I'm not really into summoning, especially not summon Hydra. It's actually getting kind of late in the game as well for using summon Hydra. That would have been better. I'm still fine. Um, a bit earlier. Nice thing, like all the artifacts of the enemies. Oh, there's a bot. Um. <laughs> Ale drivers, nope, let's get out of here, bot. Trying to sell me viewers or whatever it's doing. Oh, so many artifacts. Let's go look at these. So it's this pile. Right, it's just a leather armor on the mace. I've basically seen those all over. Is this card an int? See invisible? Eh. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, oh, Ring of Wizardry, maybe. I might be should worry about that one. Um, it could be good when trying to get the oh, Firestorm going. Actually, I should check on that Firestorm. 100% failure still. Oh, I should probably get the Ignition. That's 8% failure. Let's go Amnesia up. Let's do the Scorch. I've probably got a Flame Wave. I can go Amnesia up as well. Um, I need one more spell level. Let's see what else there is. Do I use all of these? I do, right? Well, maybe not the blast modes. I might get rid of those, actually. Yeah, get it. Should probably actually get some more spellcasting. What's it on? 10? It's not bad. Uh... Might bring it up to 12. Ooh, what's this guy got? He's got a ring of resistance logic with five and magic points. I want that one. Give me. Give me your ring, dude. Actually, it's resistant to five, but I'm still keeping fireballing it. So I can drop uh, one of these. I just got three rings of magic points on me. Anyway, I can probably swap that on. I've got, uh, it's resistant to electric, which means I can swap my armor as well. Uh, I don't know what else. I was wearing like a uh, dance dragon number. Oh, stuff. Oh, that's a cold resist. Not currently useful, but I'll pick it up. Only probably useful later on when I get into shattering or something. What else have we got in this elven treasure? It's been pretty good treasure, even if it's just that one ring that I got. Uh, dropped the Sigur Tuvis myself. Plus. Six Shadow Dragon Armor of Poison Resist. That might work. Oh, Willpower Resist Poison Strength. Um, I can't pick them both up. Alright, let's go look through that list again, but I should probably try on the armor, see if it's any good. It's probably the same encumbrance as what I got, I reckon. Why can't I get to that one? Oh. 
Uh, I guess I dropped my attraction. It doesn't matter. I'm probably not going to need them, but I'm surprised I dropped that one. I usually keep it around even if I never need it. Anyway, let's try on this armor. It's uh, harm and poison resistance, which doesn't sound too bad. Let's actually go examine it first. So if I put it on, I guess, 7 armor class, 10.6. Or this a better? Yeah, I mean, this is uh, probably one of the first ones I'm wearing Shadow Dragon now, but I think that's actually kind of nice. Uh, let's go to Depths, I think, now. My armor class is doing pretty well, 39. Is fire blowing this guy not doing a lot? I don't think it, it should be. It's a fire giant. Uh, she has a bit risky shooting that out. Um, oh, Chance Magic. Have I... Wait, hold on. I've got a spider nest. I should probably go to that one. Actually, go kill some spiders. Because I think the fireball works pretty well on the spiders. And so does the uh, starburst, depending where they're standing. So, <laughs> I shouldn't have any problems here. Yeah, I mean, that's absolutely slow to these guys. Because again, like the elves, they rely on evasion. And that doesn't, <laughs> doesn't work so well for them. I mean, I guess some of the creatures in here don't rely on evasion. Like the, I don't know, steel barbs and stuff probably don't. Uh, there's definitely something in here that's fire resist. I can't remember what it was. It might have been the steel bubs as well. Um, I need... Whoops. I need this dude. Yeah, it's the steel bubs, but... Whatever. Uh, Chance of magic, I think... Kind of, there's still a lot of spike walls turning up. I do still have the resist electric, so it's not not the end of the world of getting ambushed by spike wasps. Um, wait, 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 the demon crawlers got changed around. They no longer fire resist. They were for a little while, but that was back before they had regen or anything like that. That was ages ago now. Uh, can I... I can just fireball these dudes. I don't want to get hit by multiple officers of Strygen. I do have an okay shield, but I don't... It's um, plus zero, I think. It's like a plus zero kite shield or something. I got a plus zero tower shield, but that's a long way off. That's a... Oh, wait. I don't have Steam Visible. Should I, I should probably put some Steam Visible on in here. Maybe. Sure, I said a protection. Just so I get an advanced warning of the ghost moths, because those can cause problems. I think I've got one invisibility potion on something. Actually, I might have more by now. No, one. Yeah, so they definitely could be a problem, but oh well. Uh, I just irradiate it, right? I think uh, due to the fire resist that does more plus two boots, mine are plus one boots. Oh, book okay, I haven't read what's it got. It's got Sublimation of Blood. Um, I haven't got Necromancy. I don't think I'll get it because I got Sif Mana channeling in magic for me, so I don't think I need to worry about it, honestly. I was only these little Alvin vaults. Well, I've already done the Alvin holes, so I don't think I need to worry too much about a little Alvin vault. Excellent. First of all, Spider Nest done. Only three more to go. Or oh, some moths are at least surely, yeah, some moths are definitely fire resist. Um, Omni resistant demonic crawlers that give you nightmares. <laughs> Do they actually have any resist anymore? Or are they just like, like trolls? They basically turn them into trolls, right? 
<laughs> but like uh, regen, but no resist. I, I feel like they kind of are. Also, I, I got my poison resist back, right? They got plenty of ways of getting that, but I, I should check so I've got it at least. Uh, not a quag sag. I think it's almost gone. Oh, another bot already? Why does the bots always need to come in pairs now? I don't know why. I mean, this time there was actually a little break between them, but... I don't know what's sad. <laughs> come on, there's gonna be a spike in Fireball. <laughs> I feel like uh, the demonic rules, like some characters are just absolutely lethal, and then other characters, they don't even really matter. Like, this character, they just die in a couple of whatever fireballs, anything really. They're just, they're just gone. Okay. Uh... One more magic point, and they can radiate. Good. <laughs> Hey, what am I getting? A uh, percent sun. I don't know sure what that does. Full sun fuse lot. Hold on. I. Oh, was it just one L? What is this? Let's see. Uh, hundred. Wait, hundred percent failure. I've got. All oh, right, my calculation is a little bit behind, isn't it? It's only on sixteen. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. That's the one that I'm actually missing for the firestorm. By the time I get enough for the fuse light, I probably have a firestorm going anyway. Yeah, well. I don't know. It might still be worth getting, but probably not by that point. Donald's hilarious with fireball because he puts up his shield and just dies anyway. Mind bus, I think. I don't know. Or warping it. Let's just take the mind bus first. <laughs> Goodbye, you've ru uh, not rune. La gem. I don't think this character's getting gems. Sometimes they get gems, but I'm not going for them with this character. I should bring out um bring out the modder. Just look at that, it just goes through the middle and just blows them all up. Uh, let's check out the spell failure. So Ignition 6% failure, Mod is 4% failure. I don't think any of the stuff I really use has got a huge amount of failure on it, so that's nice. But I could actually ignite these guys. Uh, they're kind of standing in a good spot for it. Here we go. I do this guy. I'll bring out a mortar, but I might just have to irradiate it because it's uh, it's uh, super resistant to fire from correct to sun moth. Uh, kind of trapped in this net. Let's move here. I should be able to. There we go. Starburst everyone at the same time. Uh, I just happened that the my bus did work right on these guys. Yeah, sixty percent or whatever. It probably doesn't work on the simulacrum because they're probably mindless. Um, but the fireball will. I feel like those guys that are radiated, the red roaches, could be some of the most dangerous things in here. Because if you go down the staircase, oh, I guess also the um, Moth of Wrath. But if you go down the staircase next to one, it could be kind of bad. I actually don't need that um, Scarf Resistance. I got a Cold Resist Cloak. 
And I've also got enough fire resist right now that I don't think I'm going to need that. Oh, plus zero poison resist chainmail. Come on. I got like plus five armor, so it's like... Oh, plus six uh, dragon armor, I think. Shadow dragon armor or something? So I, I don't need to swap for some plus zero chain or something. Uh, plus five scale mail, minus cold resist. Nope, again, it's, uh, I mean, at least that one has a decent bonus on it, but it's not competitive. I don't think I'm going to find nothing competitive for a long time. I'll probably eventually end up in... Actually, I could just keep this on for a pretty long time, I think. <laughs> eventually, I might end up with, like, some gold dragon armor or something. That's Gels, Gravata, and Vise Electric Charge. I haven't got the spell skills for those. I don't think I'll worry about them. I have to blow up the moth. The most important thing to take out. Ooh, that's not bad. Hey, look at that. Bit of ignition and they're all gone. But I might find another staircase. Yeah, that's a good thing about the uh, ignition. If I do get supers around, oh, these aren't quite grouped up for it, though. Uh, now they are. Uh... Yeah, Ignition does your decent spell of like, if you get completely surrounded, you can just blow everything up around you. It's, it's a decent spell, for like unsurrounding yourself and stuff. Um... Oh, so let me go check on Firestorm again. <laughs> I know I've already checked on it not too long ago. 98% failure. I need three more spell levels, which is actually probably going to... No, that might happen on my next level up, I think. <laughs> Mana Vipers. Uh... I was actually best against the scorpion. Let me go check. Got no fire to this, so like... Can just blow it up. Starburst, I think that's actually not a bad idea, because I got the whole stuff fire. I tried getting one of those before with a um, bombard, and it didn't seem that effective. Don't don't try to tip myself there. I feel like that targeting could be a bit smarter. I wonder whether I wonder how hard it would be to make the fireball targeter just a just a little bit smarter so it doesn't try and hit yourself quite as often. Um Like there was a way of getting the enemy without hitting yourself, choose that one instead of I mean you probably just have to go through like every uh like, when you're thinking of a creature to target, you could just go through, like, all the spaces around it and see if there was a better one. I don't know. It, it would probably be a thing you could do. I'm not grouped up as much as I like. I guess that's all right. Good thing about being like heavy armor is if I do get stuck in a web, sure I can't move, but at least I still got some armor class. <laughs> That's always the problem with the evasion characters because they lose their armor class as well, or their evasion as well when they get stuck. Alright, what have we got here? We've got a rune, we've got a scarf of resistance again, lots of haste. See, how much haste does this character have? 12? Wow. I don't know if I'm going to run out of haste on this character. I doubt it. Even going through extended. Especially if I ever manage to get this, uh, where is that? I don't know where my neck mutation is. I don't think I bought it yet, actually. Now that I think about it. Nice scales. They certainly are selling. Yeah, they are. I mean, it needs the poison resist as well, but I uh, time plus six. Especially for this character. I mean, most mages couldn't actually use that, I reckon. Because it would be too heavy. Maybe some could. But dwarf ones definitely can. Uh... 
I don't know why I'm shaking with five so many. <laughs> 97 percent it doesn't make much work because I still need three more spell levels. Um how many spell levels do you get on a level up? I don't know. It's probably like some spells they can get rid of, but Oh, Hellhog's immune to fire. They look like they should be. Oh, they sure are. All right. You guys thought I'd just get... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. That's fine. I can just back up. Right, what do I do now? So we've got... That guy's immune to fire, right? I'll just hit it with a... That thing. A little bombard. Oh, it's one per one XP or half a spell casting. Right, so I'm probably going to be like one shot by the time I level up. Uh, oh, well. That's not the worst thing in the world. Also, I don't need the stem as well as much here. So I can put back on the protection. I've got the wizardry and um and my stash of things to put on at some stage. These guys, these are immune to fire, right? Of course they are. And now they're all soul bound. Um I love to just like emulate them, but it's not gonna work. <laughs> Or ignition them, I mean, but it's not going to work. I spray them back and shoot the iron shots at them. I don't think I can get a crystal spear. Crystal spears are kind of nice because at least it doesn't push me around as much. Um, let me actually go check on that one. I know I'm short on spell levels, but there's probably something you can get. Yeah, 77%. Do I actually have the Shadow Dragon Arm doesn't give the resist negative, which is kind of funny because it, it gives like stealth instead. But I'm pretty sure the actual Shadow Dragons are like immune to negative or something. I know they definitely have a negative energy breath. What's well, the wrong thing to use in that guy? <laughs> You're like fireballing a fire dragon. <laughs> I'm going to make this easy and just get another level of spellcasting, because uh, 13 is not too much, even with my minus 2 aptitude. Ooh, Buckler of Cold Resist? Uh, it's only plus 0. I don't think I worry too much about that one. I got like one Cold Resist, I wouldn't mind another one, but not for plus 0 Buckler. Uh... Got a frostbound book. That's probably got, I don't know. I've got, do I have polyvortics already? Let's see. It's got plasma beam. Oh, frostbound sun, right? Okay. That makes a little bit more sense, I guess. Oh, why so am I fireballing this dude? I'm still not entirely sure that book made any sense, but anyway. Uh... Got two fire. Oh, oh, whoops. It's so easy to accidentally move after I like casting my spell. When I'm trying to line up its target. Eh? Got the stuff fired. Um, how do I get to the other side here? Do I have a flight? I don't know if I do have a flight. <laughs> you just airport the book, I suppose, because that's the important one. Some horrible things. I mean, any spell's good. I'll take any spell because it means Sif Mana won't gift me that spell, but will gift me something else instead. So, yeah, anything gets good.
Why is my party at full anyway? Shouldn't that... I don't know. Shouldn't it be, like, down a bit from all the gifts I'm getting? I know that things got changed around a little bit with that. But I'm still surprised to be at full piety. Ah, uh, come on, Salamander. Let's spread around this corner. There, another fire, resist uh, fire immune creature. What is that? Fire giant skeleton? Uh, do the skeletons they keep the resist? No, it doesn't. I guess cold resist instead. Sure. So it's a little bit hard to tell what the derived undeads will have, but uh, yeah, like I know they get the immunity to negative energy and stuff, but I didn't realize they lost the natural resist they had previously. Should dig through the wall. Uh, I've got to reveal these guys. I might get rid of some of these guys. Um, in fact, I might just. I think the wall's already been broken open. I might just shoot one of those guys through. Must be there. Oh, eight spell levels. Yeah, okay. Just uh, as soon as I get like half a uh, level of spell casting, point one more spell casting, and I should have enough uh, to get the thing. Oh, you had to force more for failing to cast more because of that. Yeah, I might have to. Um, I don't know. It's just uh, it's so easy because you do need to move the target to a spot, so you're always gonna do it. Also, maybe I should get. Oh, should I get over destruction? I could lose. I'm not sure I want to lose any of these spells. I don't think I get an orb destruction in that case. Um, oh, what does the enchantress have? Let's look at her armor. She's got plus six fairy dragon scales, rampage random slow, unfortunately. Resist electric, resist fire times two, and resist corrosion. Oh, a buckler might be good. Plus two buckler protection. That's probably. Actually, that's probably decent. Uh, there's a radiator. Uh huh. I don't want to get myself too contaminated. So I should probably solve the irradiator. Chill out that one just a little bit. Um. Alright, what do I have? I got a fireball. I just self fireball, I guess. <laughs> yeah, because uh, the sprays aren't going to be able to dodge the fireball, at least, because uh, they dodge everything else. Alright, what, what did she have? She had a, she had a buckler somewhere. I still have earth. Um, I don't need the willpower anymore. It's still see. Uh, wait, I don't need the resist electric anymore. I might drop that. That's not it. Where? Well, what did what letter did I put? Oh, C. I thought it was a G for some reason. So, gain three AC, gain one evade, and lose two and a half. Yeah, shield value, whatever. It's definitely just. Oh, whoops. <laughs> now it's not the best time to swap that. Let's just head back in the this room and put on the shield. I think, but it's definitely just straight up better. Um. And the fire swords now seventy percent because I guess adding the changing the shield would have made a made a bit of a difference to that one as well. Trying to think. Uh, I mean, it's wizardry could probably get it down to maybe 40%, but I probably want to get it down to, I don't know, 30%, then put it on the wizardry, I think, and then I should be good to go. That's 
probably going to work. Uh, huh? What is that? Is that a frost book? I think it might be. Where did it go? Frost book is not too bad. Um, they can add up with their damage. But yeah, it's not the worst thing ever. And once they get next to you, they um, they can't do a lot because they they can't do their spells anymore because their spells are air of effect and they're not immune to the cold. Which I feel like they probably should be immune to the cold, but maybe that would make them too powerful. But all the rest of the books can kind of do their spells when they're next to you, so it's a little strange. The frost ones can't. All right, depths two is done. Oh, not that staircase. Let's go down a better staircase. Huh? No. Go check on what Sif gave me. Not just Bog. Uh, I think uh, I'm just kind of getting the dregs of the spells now. Ooh, Jory. Uh, he's probably fine. How's his... What's that? She won't resist to the air. Cold resist, right? No fire resist. Okay, he's probably fine. He's got to be careful with Crystal Sphere. Which he messed with anyway. Well, I uh, didn't seem to do any damage. So I presume he missed. Maybe I don't actually have a lot of shield or anything. I don't know why he missed. If he's just not very accurate with his crystal spear. Ice blast not pure cold. Also, it actually does the uh, does the whole ice blast effect, right? So I guess you can't exactly um give them immunity to their own damage. Ah, oh, well. Oh, what's up with this guy? I don't know why that guy didn't die earlier. That one to go would have been really bad if it had a seen me at the same time as the other things. Oh, it's a health drop. I can't afford the stuff, can I? Stuff air with willpower. The stuff conjuration with resist cold. The ring of resist electric willpower. See invisible. Oh, so expensive. Ten and John is like, yeah, I want that stack, but... Maybe eventually, but I still got to buy my, uh... That was 10 brilliance as well. <laughs> still got to buy my Death Talisman. I don't think I'm going to be getting those. Oh, hey, Pajit. Uh... I got to separate him from the Fire Giant. Oh. <laughs> He's in front, that's all right. Um, I do want to fight him. He's got nice armor. I might end up wearing it. Not immediately, but like some stage. I think that's probably my end game armor. It's what? Fire covers us, which is not too bad. Uh... Oh, and poison resist, which I actually do need. <laughs> what well, do I think can even affect these dudes? I don't know. I'm gonna burn them actually. That's not the most effective, but it does something. So it's fine, this one can do a lot of damage, but I think it's fine. I can pull it back with a Gravitamperine if I wanted, but I'd kind of like to have that going when I fight, um, Pajit. Yeah, pay Gravitamperine and a Mirror sounds pretty good for Pajit, because a Mirror can, you gotta damage him fast because he regen so fast. Um, so having a Mirror on him really helps with that, because he can do a decent amount of damage himself. I don't like that holy book. Uh... Really? I guess I just blow up the spells. I mean, I guess it stops it hitting me with a smite. I saw someone got 
uh, that store in a descent where you can get into debt and bought the entire store at once. <laughs> Oh, that's kind of funny. Yeah, because I guess you can you can only get into debt like once, right? So you might as well buy the entire store. Uh, that that's hilarious. One of these notices me just the eyeball, right? But the fireball might wake something else up. Uh. Oh. Go through here. I'm just. I sh oh, Pardon. Okay. I'm not ready for Pardon right now. I'll just teleport out. Should be fine. He'll throw a few rocks at me, but. I don't think he's going to do too much else. Uh, I don't think I need that gold dragon armor. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, I think Pajit's delivered a better set. All right. So. Mirror him up. Okay. Grab a tambourine him. Um, I don't have any roots, do I? No, I got different stuff. That's fine. I don't can't cure Arium. He's poison resistant. I can net him, though, while he's rooted. There we go. Now, how do I do lots of damage to him really quickly? I can't quite do the Firestorm. <laughs> Notion's not going to work. Um, I'll rarely give me the best options, does it? Now, I'll get out my Mortar. Uh, really? Oh... Mirror is gone. Um, he's healing up, isn't he? <sighs> ah, that's a shame. I was hoping the mirror could take him out, but no, he was he was actually healing. What? Um, hold up. Twenty six percent of that fire storm. It's just not quite there. Um. What else do I have? Leather armor and no, that's not quite working. I was just hoping I got like a ring or something and I could put on. That's the Pajit staircase, isn't it? Uh, good, I do have it. Oh, yeah, that one's fine. That was no longer Pajit. That was Pajit staircase. I'm going to try a Firestorm. Right. Uh... I'm gonna go fire some Pajit and see if it works. I might have to channel some magic as well. There he is. I'll start with the channel magic. Um, I might get too contaminated is what I'm worried about, but we'll see. Oh, Sojo Bow, really? Really, Sojo Bow? Now's not the best time. Oh, well, I guess you can stand in the fire storm as well if you want. <laughs> oh, he feel fully healed up. Just swap staircases. I might. I'll try it again. But like, yeah, if he just can fully heal between my fire storms, it's kind of not great. Where did he go anyway? So we got a book with pile driver. I probably don't. Oh wait, that kind of can get me away from things. I guess it's not uh, not terrible, but it's not that useful. Oh, what's this guy got? It's got a trident of magic points. I uh, it's got three resist negative, but it randomly slows you. It's not that good. A fire storm on his head. Um. Okay. There we go. There's Pajit. Hey, you burned to death. Excellent. Let's go. Oh, I'll burn off this guy. I guess I'll 
failed to burn up that guy. I'll just fire storm it. Uh, fireball it, I mean. Antenna, our old mutation. Let's go grab this plus six gold dragon armor. And let's go let's take a look at how it compares. So if I put it on, I lose some evasion. Like 5.8. I gain one a bit. Armor um, class. So if I enchanted that up, it's like better. But I'm not going to worry about it just yet. Um, oh, it's more of a late game thing, I think. Okay. Crystal Sphere Book will die. Uh... Twenty four percent still. I don't know. This is this is sketchy. It should just be fireballing things, maybe. At least on my main source of damage with the occasional firestorm for the things that really need big damage, like Podjud. You know to go off on I. Oh, wait, no, that I shouldn't because, uh, actually, I, should, uh, I could maybe. I just, uh, there's not a lot of staircases like this one. These two are next to each other, but I might be able to go back to that one now that I think about it. There's nothing too terrible around. It probably would have been doable, but hey, I think all channel magic is basically free anyway. Uh,. Uh, it's not going to quite die, is it? Mm. I want to get like three guys to stop us. It's all right. Not quite, okay. Never mind, if I can't get both, I'm going to single fire someone, we'll just do whatever. Uh... Hey, more intelligence, let's take a look. 19% is getting there. It's uh, definitely going down nicely, but I want it just to like... 10% failure by the time I get to the slime pits, I think. Because um, then you can just absolutely kill the royal jelly with it, which it seems plausible, though. Hold on. Hold on a second. I'm on level 4 of the devs. What other places do I have to go to? Like, is it just the uh, rune branch next? Probably is, honestly. I mean, I will get a bit of XP going through... All the slimes. Um, get fire up to 26.9. <laughs> Shove that up a little bit because the card rate is expensive because the fire is cheap. Well, slightly cheaper still despite its higher level. What's well, not there? <sighs> <laughs> More gold dragon armor. Uh, it's funny. I'll uh, tell much I'm seeing. It's, uh, I'm glad I got Pudge with Thorny Carriage. I can actually wear the armor eventually. Because, um. Yeah, I haven't had Pudge on the carriage that can wear the armor for a little while. That's uh, good. Might quiver up the Firestorm. I know it's still 17% failure, but hey, I'm having fun with it. Uh. And I did get the... Oh, that's a bit of damage. I should just fireball this guy. He's almost dead. I did get the Sigatruva's Wizlab, so I've got a whole bunch of the mutation potions if I accidentally mutate myself here with the contamination. Uh, I think Slimepits is next, which might also mutate me. We'll see. Uh...
Don't let that one. Let's uh, go down. I don't think I'll get the rune here. Oh, fragile might go up. Should have I gone up? I don't know, but I did. And I guess it wasn't a terrible mistake. Uh, it wasn't an odd idea. Really? Is this gonna not do as much as I like? Okay. <laughs> and then I miscast. Okay. I think I'm still like fine with the mutation somehow, though. No thanks to what I was doing. That was, yeah, not. Getting me out of that situation. It's weird how when you get like given the gift while fighting, you see like some of the creatures dead and some of them not. Although I guess it makes sense because it will get the gift when you gain piety for killing. So I guess it will give the gift like partway through. Uh... It's just kind of weird when you see like the screen when it's uh when it's part way through like the enemy's turn it doesn't look quite right. All right. I don't know why I did the entire level, but I I guess I could, so I did. I gotta remember that I've got like ignition, which is like gonna be a fun spell in here as well. The firestorm does the trick on its own against the pearl jelly. Throwing in a couple of ignition at a good time is also not a bad idea. Uh, radiate, maybe? Oh, it was somewhat effective. It's like blasting the fire so I'm like right at the edge of the vision just so in case like something else comes along so I might catch the fire storm or something. Uh... I actually don't know if I... Wait, I can just hit things off the edge of the screen, right? But only if my fire storm's like extra big, I think. Uh. How am I resist going with this character? So resist negative will sort itself out. And bit, uh, resist Cole King can probably get up to two when I get the Lich form. Yeah, so Lich form would definitely sort out my resist. So I'm still lacking resist garage, which isn't the best in the slime bits, but... Hey, what am I gonna do? Alright, <laughs> exactly have a good source of it. Uh oh, magic subdued. I mean it makes my failure chance a little bit better, so that's okay, it's just less damage. I think it's like uh what is it, minus wizardry or something? Ooh, I better cast successfully. There I've got jellyfish all around me and I'm hmm. Oh, what just happened? I feel stupid. That doesn't help my casting chances, does it? Uh... I'm thinking of, I think I'll reset them after I'm finished with this level. I think those are, those are like still fine. I can kill the Royal Jelly with all of those. What has happened? I body something that's a terror. Is that all? Doesn't matter. Golf? That does matter, though. Golf to get it. It's draining my magic points as well, which is awkward. 
Yeah, got to be very careful getting engulfed because it can definitely be a way to die in here. Get engulfed and can't do anything. I mean, you can't get out of it by moving. Um, except sometimes the guys just straight engulf you immediately. So, oh, hey, it's a royal jelly. Our town's some magic because I'm going to need it. Uh, oh, these guys are like uh, resistant to uh, beautify it. All these the guys are just fire storm because, uh, yeah, I was uh, wanting to emulate, but no, it doesn't really work when they're immune to the fire. Oh, I'm no longer channeling. I channel some more. All right, what have we got? So we got a uh, monstrous menagerie to spell undead. Oh, it's damnation, isn't it? Oh, so a ring of intelligence. Um, probably not, but might pick it up. Strength, dex, resist, negative. Hmm. Sure, I'll pick it up as well. That one bane that I can see on the ground, like a little bit further on, was this flight, resist cold, willpower, resist corrosion. Oh, that's kind of nice. Um, it does drain you when you take it off, though, so you can't just freely swap it. It would be best as a swap, unfortunately. So I can drop the. I can probably drop the amnesia. I can always come back for it. Um. Ah, <laughs> it is one bait. Look at all this resistance. It fires this cold resist. No, I can't really use it. AC, poison resist. No, it, it doesn't work. It, I shouldn't. All right, let's get out of here and reset those mutations. Uh, I feel clever, but my spells are less powerful. <laughs> I thought bad. Now I've said fail of the fire so Let's go with that for a while. Let's go to Zot. Um, we've also got Vols 5 to do as well. Yeah, then once my spellcasting charts recovers a bit, I can do things differently. I don't have Blink, do I? That would be a nice spell. Oh, sure. We can't really use it over that attitude. Certainly not. Maybe I should say I don't need to use it. But that's a better attitude. Not really. Oh, let's get out of here. Wait, what is that shield? Ooh, Tau Shield of this. Um, eventually. Oh, I added that to my list of things to get going eventually. I've also got to get a Death Talisman going. Um... But also, my Firestorm kind of is going with my current set of stuff. What am I training right now? Conjurations. That's probably the right thing to get. Um, ooh, let me see. So I might get... Shape Shilling's minus two, which isn't terrible, but it's not great either. Oh. I don't think I'm actually going to get that uh, going in time for extent of the Death Talisman. Not this time round. Although I don't have any resist negative, so maybe I should try. Actually, I've still got... Where have I got? I've got... Um, Crept. Got Vaults 5. Vols 5 is worth a decent amount of XP. Start the conjuration right now. I might be able to do it. Yeah, no way I get uh, it's cold resist, resist negative. I think it also gives a willpower, which I probably don't need, but <laughs> hey. Eventually I can take off my hat, right? Maybe. Uh, although Lich just can't go berserk, right? So having this hat on with a Lich isn't actually that bad. Uh, 
I don't see any downside as a spirit guardian, which is not necessarily a downside with Sif Miner either. And the ability to channel magic when I get low. Uh, as long as I channel it in on time, don't let myself get too low. It's probably um, a positive thing having the spirit guardian on. Oops, that's one of my dudes. <laughs> Getting electrocuted, I think. Oh, Mark. Um, I suppose this dude up. Uh, I should run at some stage, like, really soon. Maybe now. All right, level 25? That's the right level. Am I... I've... Hmm. That feels about right to be in Zot. Because I'm effectively just doing the three rune character thing at the moment. Um, and I'm going to turn it into more runes later on. Well, I mean, I'm not training the right skills anymore for a three rune character. A three rune character would never try and get their... Oh, challenge the magic. Their death style has been going like at this point in the game. That would be silly. But I think there's been very few three rune games where I've managed to get the death talisman going. Um, which makes sense, but I think there actually have been some. Or maybe they were more like five runes or something, or four runes, whatever. What are those? Uh, I can't see what the gloves are, right? Because I'm not with Ash and Zari or something. That's definitely a nice thing about Ash and Zari, if you don't see like exactly what loot those vaults have. Uh, but that one looks pretty nasty. I might come back when I... I might, I'll probably forget to come back, but I might come back when I get Shatter. Because that's the eventual plan is to get this character, Shatter. But uh, we'll see if I actually get there with all the spells i got to get. There's also Ori... Goop's Ghost? A Minotaur Fighter? I mean, they're fine if I'm not next to them. They die to the Firestorm. But they do, like, 50 damage or whatever in melee. Oh, what's happened? Shafted? Might just revelation to get myself back up. This looks like a not too bad a spot though. Challenge magic just in case. <laughs> that doesn't look like I really need it because I can just go back to the staircase. Zot 3, I've got a 6.9 skill to, skill to shape shifting. I reckon it's going to fall slightly short, but not much short, which means... Oh, I should channel magic here. Um, what do I actually do with this guy? Because it slowed me down. I don't have to spell dead or anything that's really good against it. I might try and irradiate it. <laughs> not quite. If I drop a fire on someone's face, it should be fine. Even if I hit myself, it should be fine. Treating is really good for this character because I got the magic regen amulet, so I can actually get a considerable amount of magic back just by retreating back a little bit after every monster I fight. Uh oh, what's happening? Uh, another Sentinel's mic. I'm getting a lot of sources malevolence all of a sudden. There was a there was a break where I wasn't getting any, but that didn't last long. All right, I think I might just take a new staircase. There we go. Oh, what's the suit shield? I did have a cold this one somewhere. It's, oh, plus two. Again, it's like an eventual thing. I'll probably just go with a cold this one. Um. My armor is already partly pre enchanted. I'll need six enchant armor for my armor. I'll have two left over. If I get exceedingly rich, I'll have uh, an extra 10 on top of that, but I don't think I'll get rich enough for that, honestly. Because there was uh, a whole uh, big Bales Hell Star. Oh, does that blink? Nice. And I've actually got the spell levels back, probably from leveling up, actually. I might go a little bit of spellcasting, I'm not sure. 
Wordlesses. I feel like I got half of the something spells. It's just a bunch of something spells. I don't need them. Um, I need to wait down though. Blow these dudes up, and then I blow this dude up. I would be very careful with shifters. Actually, it don't be... It's not quite as bad as it could be. It's not like I could get shipped off here on low magic points and then not be able to get them back because I got magic potions. I got Sif Mata. got all the things I could need to get my magic points back. Um, actually, how many magic potions I got? Five. I got tons. I'm probably never going to use all those. Uh... So she isn't so well on my way to getting the Lich Form right. 10 out of 23, I think, for that one. Oh. I do Lignify, I think. I got Cancellation. I can cancel off if I need to. Uh... That's fine. I'll drink a potion of magic. Oh, it's not one of these ones. At least it's on its own, so it looks like I'm going to just leg the face straight away. I think they're pretty resistant to fire, which doesn't help either. Um... Uh, hey, there's not a lot I could do about that or anything. I just got to fire some of them anyway. It's my still my best way of taking them out. Especially when they summon things around me, and it's like one of the only spells that can actually target them. Uh, channel some more magic and let's sit around here for a little while. There's maybe a... Uh, that really looks like a vault that would have an old fire, this one up here. Hey, you can't tell me there's not an old fire in there. There's gotta be. <laughs> there it is. Alright, but at least it's blocked by all my little fiery dudes. Um... Uh, kind of. It's like semi blocked. Oh, uh, it's fine. I can kill that dude. And I'm pretty sure there'll just be the one of fire down that would throw multiple of that, them at me for a single, just a single one of those vaults so until I get down a little bit deeper. Well, all the way to level five, I guess, is when it'll start throwing multiple of them at me. When I get here, I got. Haley but other. Eh, not my favorite spell. It's the one that I'll use if I have to, like if I have no ranged options. Alright, level four. I'll go down to level five, but I won't complete it. Um and I'll magic behind it and everything, so I can see all my traps and stuff. Oh, 12 uh cheap shooting. Yeah, it's not gonna get there, is it? Alright. What have we got? That side's kind of nasty. The Spousal Zod? Oh, that side's a teleport trap. Right, so uh, it's a good thing I'm coming back a lot later on because those are not nice. I'll uh, probably come back with Shatter, honestly. In fact, I could always divine eggs with Jesus of Shatter if I need to. If it's a thing I could do as a Sith Martyr worshiper. Oh. Uh. That looks fine, but I gotta do something to that guy to get rid of it. See what I attract with all these fire storms? I got some orb guardians. Um, quite a few of them, in fact. There's got to be more of those, yeah, more of those fiery flesh around the corner because they can place them out of sight and stuff. Um, 
Although it might have to be inside of the creature that uh, dies, like the aspiring flesh that dies. I'm not sure. Right, well, um, I'm definitely doing corrupt. Try and get that, uh, that talisman going, because at the moment it's not going, what is that hog zombie? Anyone? <laughs> I mean, I've probably seen one of those before, but I definitely don't recognize a hog zombie. Nothing in here should be too bad. Uh, the curse skulls could be a little bit of a problem. Oh, there's even a stripped willpower symbol that you get next to your character. That's kind of nice when your willpower is stripped. Because it they doesn't used to be. I mean, you've always had the status indicator like up here that tells you about stripped willpower. Like up with the uh, contamination and stuff. But now it's like an actual little symbol next to your character, which is... Oh, whoa. Boots of regen. Um, yeah. I misguessed, I think. I'll take some boosts of regen. My boosts are like plus two, so yeah, these are plus three as well. So they're more armor class, three more strats, a bit of regen. Oh, wait, my... Right, my um, uh, fire sword got better at casting because I have heavy armor on. Makes sense. Uh... <laughs> Peace, Shujin. Everyone's hanging out. Should be fine, though. Got enough fire to resist yet. This is not a problem. Be funny if I found a death item in, in here, because then I'm gonna have to buy the one I've got on sale. So actually, how much money do I have right now? Ah, uh, three and a half thousand. But I'm gonna be spending. 1,100 on the Death Talisman, and then that'll leave me short the five, uh, because I need 5,000 for the scrolls of Shard Do you know that's actually, it's, uh, it's like plausible that I get that in extended. But it's probably going to be like the end of the game and I get an upgrade to my shield. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, two more levels here. How's the hold? It's only on 14. It barely gained that much at all. Because I put on the form now, it's like, what? Minus 90% health or something? Where is it? It's been around the start, shouldn't it? Oh, I don't have it. Okay. I mean, I could probably look it up if I really cared. I love how simple the crypto's firestorm is like, go downstairs, firestorm, go upstairs, repeat, everything dies. And because it's so noisy, like, uh, you'll probably kill most of the level just from, even just from one of the staircases. Uh, I'll radiate the dude, I'll let him do a lot. Certainly doesn't compare with the firestorm damage. I mean, it radiates a good spell, but it falls off a little bit later on when the creatures just. Because you still get like the, the all the contaminated stuff, but the creatures don't die anymore like they do early game when you irradiate them. Ah. Uh... 
It's Yeehaw's ghost. Well, they, they're a demigod hunter. They've only got 188 health for a demigod? That doesn't do much. They must have done it early. They probably just went to here immediately after crypt or something. They're, yeah, I mean, it's a straight up demigod hunter, I guess. I don't know. I feel like they've got it here way too early. That's probably how they end up as a ghost, right? Uh, that being said, I don't have a lot more health than them. I've only got like 30 something more health. Um. But I don't know, I've come in here with a fire storm and they've come, come in here with a bow, so it's not really comparable. No. Oh. I should probably just blow it up. Huh? Where? Well, that's fine. You know, the crypto kind of thematically makes sense for necromancers to be here, but um, mechanically it doesn't make a lot of sense because there's nothing they can raise because everything in here is undead. So, <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Yeah, the necromancers don't get to do a lot in here. Uh... Oh, they can raise each other? I guess they can. Not a stroke, because I think a necromancer is technically living, right? And they might be able to raise a death knight, I'm not sure. I haven't checked on whether those are actually living or not. They might be. Uh, as a human corpse, yes, they can raise death knights. There's, uh, they can raise each other, so I guess there's the occasional thing they can raise, but it's still not a lot. The bizarre, vast majority of things in here are definitely undead. Oh, uh, no, I don't need another wizardry. I'm good with this one. I think my other ring was actually decent. It's like fire resist, electric resist, magic points? Yeah. It's probably going to stay on all the game, if not, well, most of the game, if not all of it. Uh, that should be fine. I'm just not sure if I got enough magic points where I should channel some. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, once a ledge gets nasty with crystal spheres, it can do a lot. But if you've got fire storm, it's going to have a hard time getting nasty. I mean, it might be a corner ledge that comes around the corner or something. Uh, I don't actually know what I'm going with, what a title was this character. Because uh, probably, I don't know. Is there a Quasar one I can go with or something? <laughs> Gotta be something I can go with. Um, maybe a shield one? Let me just go check. Is the bot... The bot came back to life, right? Uh, oh, wait. That's not gonna work. That will list all 400 of my titles. That's silly. Um, I don't even want the Mountain Dwarf ones. So, I've had a lot of mountain drop ones. I had the throwing one. I've had the shield one. Uh, I've had catastrophe, which is a puzzle one, but it's not the low one. The low one's like a disaster or something, right? Uh, Mary Dwarf is the archery one. Or one of the archery ones. Shapeless, I've had the shape shifting one. Oh, I, I probably had to go for a low piety quasi one or something. I don't know. <laughs> Swatch, switch on the orb run or whatever. Someone's got a ring of evasion. Resist negative. I don't think I need that. I don't have any resist negative, but... I'm oh, almost 17 in the shape judging, but I'm always done with the crypt. I probably won't get above 17, really. That's a shame. Oh, 
I got an inch resist corrosion. I don't have resist corrosion, so... Strength resist negative, I probably don't need. Um, I'll pick it up. What are these stuff? So, alchemy, necromancy. Oh, and there's death talisman. Nice. Um, yeah, look at that. Hey, <laughs> uh, where is it? 38% health. That's not gonna work. I have like 70 hit points or something if I put it on. Um, slightly more, but. It would not bad, but a single crystal spear could take me out of it. If I came around, it was a corner ledge or something. All right. Uh, well, I'm done with the crypt. Uh, I've got vaults five to do. Might be able to get there with vaults five. We'll see. I take the escape hatch. Escape hatch is good. Um, I'll drink brilliance. I got so many. Bison's noisy, so I'll probably attract in some more stuff. Um, I don't really want to be on this train. <laughs> it's not not the nicest train in the world. Uh, right, just like hide around here and see what comes along, and probably just fight anything that comes along. Uh, just a basic orc that's. Sure, it's funny how you get basic orcs in here. Uh... That's almost looking like a good target for my ignition, but I don't know, the firestorm works just as well when they're gathered up like that and all in the same area. Oh, I'm probably gonna channel another. Yeah, channel another. A uh, lot of magic. I kind of want to avoid that terrain till later on because it's kind of nasty. I mean, there's probably not many creatures left in it, but I don't like ending up next to creatures with this character. Uh, I can't get both of those yet. I'll just have to pull them forward once, I think. Who summoned in that weapon? That was summoned, right? Was it summoned by the armory? Because another option is Zanata because I don't think I've fought her yet, but I'm pretty sure it was just the armory. There seems to be plenty of those around here. Oh, what was that? It's got a ring of poison resist, cold resist, four magic points, four strengths, minus five days. Um, nah. My poison resist sorted, and it will be for the rest of the game. I'm with the uh, death form coming along, but... And I don't think the other ones just saw that worthwhile or anything. Oh, I got Dispersal. That was a... But I think I put a book in my shopping list for Dispersal at some stage. But I should probably go through my shopping list. Um, I don't need these books anymore. One of these was Firestorm, which I'm already casting. Chainmail is useless. Uh, Small Brilliance, which I probably don't really need. Why does it seem invisible? Uh, did I ever get a seem invisible? I mean, I kind of didn't, did I? Oh, well. I mean, you don't need to see things to happen with Firestorm, but it's still kind of nice to know where they are, right? Sometimes. Hey, final level. Let's, uh, I can do it. So it's just a question of, do I have anything that's uh, close to zero that I need to buff up so it doesn't get drained to zero? And the answer is no. Lowest thing is 13. Just usually perfectly fine in um, hells. I like to keep them to 10 or above, but I don't always. Sometimes I go in with like 7 or even less. 
But less of uh, five or less is dangerous because that's the maximum drains you can get. Like each level you go down um, in the health. But usually, even if you got slightly more than that, it can cause you problems if you get a drain going down once. It'll die. I think it didn't. Uh, still alive. Oh, no. Don't do whatever that was. Did I kill it? <sighs> Might have killed it because I can't see it. <laughs> Trouble does not matter. What else have we got here? Boss fight was definitely worth more experience than the slime pits. Because, uh, yeah, I don't think I gained a whole lot going through the slime pits. I mean, you gained a bit, especially since I actually did decently class some of the levels. Although, maybe if I full clad the slime pits, it would be worth more experience. I don't know, because I don't really full clear it. Uh, probably fine. Oh, it's not. I misguessed. Time to quicksilver now. It's uh, using it a bit, a bit earlier on, but I don't. Uh, no, you can't self quicksilver anymore, so it's not that good anymore. It used to be kind of nice when you could self quicksilver in Lich Farm. Um, <laughs> just uh, get rid of like marks and howls and all that sort of stuff. But no, unfortunately, that ability was removed. I imagine the. Oh, it does Death Talisman. Is that artifact? No, it's not. I imagine the, the ability to self um, warping might be removed as well. Like the ability for you to actually warp off it. I mean, you could probably still damage yourself. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, Inch. Oh, it's a great mace. It's a. Uh, well, for one thing, it's two handed, but also it's a weapon. And I'd rather have my fire one. I mean, the South Fire is doing a lot. Um, it sounds like I need to reset the mutations, though, don't I? To make my spells harder to cast. Uh, but I'll, I think I'll wait till I get my Lich Form going. That was an Autumn Katana. Oh, is that uh, it's an Arch Magi robe? Nah, it's way too light. As much as I like Arch Magi, I'm not going with a robe. If it was, uh, yeah, in fact, I'll eventually go with Gold Dragon Armor, but at the moment I'm just going with... It's effectively played Armor of Stealth. Does it even... I technically do have some stealth. Conjuration fire stuff. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. It's uh it's like a it's uh is it better? The ignition is not conjuration. The bombard is not fire. Oh, it's a hellfire mods. Um <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of just what I've got, except ever so slightly different. I don't, yeah, I don't think that makes a difference, really. Oh, there's going to be Marjorie. Yeah, there she is. I could tell by the searing wretch that always gives her away. She's either got a searing wretch or a elephant with her, and the elephant's way easier to kill. <laughs> not quite like a, a fair fight if it's one of them. I mean, I'm late enough that it doesn't matter if she has a searing wretch. Uh, I mean, I'd be fine if it was like the later version of her as a searing wretch and then the earlier version as a helifant or something. That wouldn't be too bad. But it's just kind of a bit much when you get a searing wretch and like, uh, I don't know, falls three or something or wherever she spawns at the earliest. Oh, 
Oh, more brilliant. 17 of those. That's ridiculous. Even though and there's like a stack of 10 that you could buy. In fact, I've probably got enough money I could buy a stack of 10. Oh, what's that? Uh, I should know what that is. Um, brand weapon requirement. Sure, it's probably brand weapon. Let's go read it. It is, in fact, brand weapon. Yep. Oh, what's this guy got? It's called Random Sauna, but it's a ring of willpower, resist electric, resist corrosion. I don't think I need that. Yeah, I mean, I could probably just keep... Uh, oh, I don't think I need a lightning rod. I could probably just keep my... Hat of the Bear on. Saw my willpower out. Uh, I don't need punk. I actually got to use that before, and I think it's break, and it was really fun. <laughs> That's my acquirement. Okay, so... Oh, I had the alchemist. Uh, resist electric, resist poison, resist fire, resist cold, resist negative willpower, resist mutation. Um, I lose a little bit of willpower, but it's probably still... I lose a little armor class. It's probably... It's, I mean, it's the only good thing on here, apart from money. Uh, it's probably still worth it. Honestly. Is that just a basic orc? Gotta have friends, right? <laughs> or not. I'd some um, let me shift some stuff around, see if I can get his hat working. So um I won't even resist corrosion if I've got it on. Can I swap off some other rings? Let's see, that one's some magic points, so I probably want to keep it on, but apart from that I can probably swap it. Uh cloak's not bad. Boots are so good. Oh, I don't have any good gloves. Um, let's, give it, let's give it a try. So there's four armor class. But my resists are now, like, really good. I don't have the spirit guard anymore, but that's probably fine. Yeah, I think I'll wear it. How does the alchemist? Um, may say gold dragon armor is less important, but hey. It's a long time until I get the gold dragon armor. And once I get my, yeah, I mean, the Extra resistance in the gold dragon armor aren't going to matter at all with that one on. Um, hmm. I'll probably be able to swap out their magic points ring for something, maybe. I don't know. Magic points are kind of nice, but I've got Sif Mana, so maybe I don't need them. I can just channel in magic, right? Oh, it's uh, three and a bit points short. Where are my death talisman is? Mm, so, yeah, 68% health. Uh, should I just get ready and go to Pandemonium? So, uh, one of the st I guess I'll get the cold resist one because they're gonna have extra enchant armors, so probably. Um, uh, gotta keep that wizardry on. Right, see all the enchant armors. Um, I don't know if I'll read one of these on the dragon armor. I might read another one. I might just read all of them. Well, as many as I can put onto that one. All right, three left. So that's fine. Uh, I read the ones that shield. No, if I find a shield, a better shield, like a potential one, I'll keep that instead. I don't need the silence anymore. It's hard the demons can cast while they're silenced anyway, so it would just be disadvantaging me. I don't think I need the vulnerability anymore. Um, okay, that's probably fine. Uh, this isn't the entrance phantom only. This is somewhere else. Anything else I need to do? I think I just go in. Do I just put on... I shouldn't put on the death talisman just yet, but... Close to be able to put that on. I don't know, maybe I should. It's like 70% health. I have no resist negative, so maybe it's worthwhile. Oh, and I need to reset these as well. Because my spells are less powerful. Let me do that. Uh, wild resistant mutation? Yeah. <laughs> Got rid of the other ones. Of course it did. Let's drink another one. That should do it. All right. Uh, I will put on the death talisman. Let's see, 150 health. That's probably fine because there's enough things in here that torment. It's probably worth it. Um, it's 
Damn, was the magic. Otherwise, they're getting nowhere here. Just kind of stuck in this one little spot, just firestorming. Uh... I do have the magic region at least, that helps a bit. He's getting me out of those situations where I'm just stuck in the spot firestorming. Alright. Uh, I guess I can take the next level. Well, once I get my magic points back, which could be a while. There we go. Oh, hey, there's a demonic rune. Alright. Nine percent failure. <laughs> Noticeable. Um, I might teleport somewhere. I don't like this dude next to me. Um, I think I can drop another firestorm on it. Channels are more magic just in case something else comes along. Oh no, this the miscasting is a bit of a problem. Oh, miscast again. Surprised that sap my magic there when I was miscasting that much. All right. Um. Actually, oh, the the the, the death form is the most important one to get because I'm down quite a bit on that one on well, my health. Um. But there's also more stuff in terms of spell casting that I should get. Try and get the chances back up on the firestorm because um. I have to reset those mutations. It's down a bit. You know what? I maybe I should uh. I should actually try for a positive mutation. Let me go do that. Oh, the strange change of like three misguided in a row, but no uh, snaps. Yeah, that is kind of strange. Um, I mean, it could have been worse. Actually, no, I need to. I have to take off my hat, don't I? Okay. <laughs> That's fine without the hat. Um, if I'm trying to get a positive one. Oh, I'm a fit spoiling. No thanks. Okay. Int. I mean, int. Int's good. Brings me to 6% failure. Yeah, in fact, that's probably, yeah, that's a really good one to go with right now because uh, failure is kind of my problem with all those miscasts in the row. They're like, that's not going to be an unusual circumstance with 9% uh, failure. Miscasting like three times in a row or something. I mean, they're like, I ignored the staff rules, made it really unusual. Um, whatever, just challenge magic. Usually you lose, like, a little bit of piety going through, uh... Pandemonium, and then you gain it all back going through hell as a Sifmata character. <laughs> There should be a pandemonium lord in here somewhere. This is okay. Uh, I'm not in a huge hurry to meet the or anything. I don't because I don't know what random spells they're going to have. Hopefully not silence. Oh, they're, they're around here somewhere. I can hear them telling me to accept my fate. Oh, it's one of these ones. These ones are not too bad. Um, because uh, I don't know what the Pandemonium Lord does, but the, the guys are trapped behind the ice until I break it open. And I might even die just from, like, Firestorm damage. <laughs> We'll see. Oh, there it is. It does... Orb of Electricity cooldown damage. And that's probably fine. Alright, and I've got a rune. That's my first extended rune of this character. Uh, which means I also don't need to be on this level anymore. But, oh well, let's uh, let's find a way down. Not that way down. Any other way down? Huh? What do you mean? Oh, I was trying to go, but it obviously wasn't going in the right spot. Oh, tower shield protection. That's what I need. 
Um, I didn't need the cold resist, right? My cold resist was like, I forgot to put my hat back on, but it's still pretty good. Still on two, but I should put the hat back on. Um, even though it loses me a little bit of armor class. Uh, let's do it. Yeah, which means I should go grab this dude's shield, wherever it is. Going to be a while before I can use the tower shield, but that might be the next thing to get myself using after the death form. Um, get the spellcasting down, like up a little bit, so I don't have quite as much failure on that one, and then get a bit of shield and put on a shield. Uh, and then I'll probably try for heavier arm, but this one's kind of nice with the whole harm thing on it. Um, there's the firestorms and everything. I mean, that was a little bit scary with some of the creatures in here. That's why I wanted a bit of immunity to torment. Because harm... Having harm and torment uh, with no resist negative is super scary. Basically, just straight to low health. There's a heat trying to stop this. Uh, me and... Trying to get the rune, because I guess I have an undead abomination, right? So it kind of makes sense that they're trying to stop me. Uh, it's got a tower shield and a ring of fire. I don't think I... Uh, I mean, resistance-wise, it could go with a ring of fire. If I want it. It's just... I don't know, maybe I have better rings. I'm not sure. Maybe I don't. Maybe I do want to go with a ring of fire. Oh, come on, don't hit myself. There we go. Uh, so this level is an non-special level of Pandemonium, right? It's my... Wait, if it is... Oh, no, it's not. It's the wrong one. I don't want to go to the best just yet. I mean, I could, but it's... Easier just to find myself a way to the next level of Pandemonium the manual way. I'm probably near the boss. Um, might have summoned... Oh, they've got just a some single dragon, not like dragon school. Do we, um, do enemies ever have dragon school? Oh, it's resistant to fire. Uh, oh, well. Not immune. I don't know if they do. I'm trying to think. I mean, they have the single summon dragon one, and that's reasonably common on them. Um, I don't actually need the... For two reasons, actually, I don't need the warning on my weapon. Uh, I don't have the... Didn't manage to stop getting on the trap. I don't have the, um... Rage anymore, and I'm also not affected by the rage anymore because I'm a... Lich. i kill this guy. Shouldn't be able to mark me up immediately. Oh, what's this? Simple Tom is fine. Slow is fine. Quick Silver Bolt's not the best, but uh, what can I do, right? Um, do I need to teleport on my good? Might just teleport up and try and get a bit of magic and stuff back. And a little bit of health. He might magic up because I know that Pandemonium Lord's still around here. Let's try to keep it up with a little bit of channel. There it is. Yeah, it can do a little bit with a quick silver bolt. Actually, quite a lot with a quick silver bolt, but there we go, it's dead. Um, fire resistant to cold, so I'm not too worried about this ice guy, and it's going to die in the firestorms pretty quick. I just want to get a little bit of health back after all those quick silver bolts hit me. At least I got my first Firestorm off against that guy that saps the magic. Otherwise, they could have been in a problem where it uh, saps away magic and they can't cast anymore. Um, but the Fireball Seas help block that. How am I going? Oh, almost there with the shapeshifting. I mean, I guess they could just look at my max health and be like, oh yeah, that's almost back.
Oh, oh not the pandemonium lord. So it's uh, doubly resistant to fire and has crystal spear and it summons demons. Just regular ones, not the greater demons, though. Hmm. I also just fire some. <laughs> like, what else can I really do, right? Oh, it goes invisible as well. Huh. Oh, am I dies? But I got told I felt more experience when I blew up the area that it was in, so that wasn't too bad. There we go. Shave to things where it needs to be. Uh, shields does need to go up. So does the... Uh... Oh, that fire magic has a manual. That's funny. Anyway, so does the conjuration. Uh... Some shields like 20. And then probably fighting after that, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I got to get heavier armor as well, but I'm not like super fast on that because my armor is actually pretty decent. It's nothing. Stop me just taking these portals. Uh... Hey, Montreal Dharma. Um, I can bring it up to a plus five tower shield. I gotta try it on, but it's uh, probably not gonna work. Oh, yes, 30% failure. That's nah. Need some work. <laughs> well, truly. What's my strength? 14. It's not, I don't have bad strength. Oh, my dex is down a bit now. I was that a mutation or something for that one? I'm not sure. Ooh, fiery rune. Um, I have fire resist. Ah, uh, it's not gonna be one of the easier runes, though, because, um, I mean, I can like haste up. The problem is Firestorm's not the right spell against the fiery pandemonium lord. Right? But... Uh, I don't think I can get a crystal spear or something, can I? That's false in failure. I need five spell levels? Okay. I can probably make this work. I don't need a Starburst anymore. I don't need a. I probably don't need a Fireball. Um, let's have Amnesia that one up. I bring my Amnesia. I guess I'll Sif Monitor. Oh, the Fireball is good, but like it doesn't compete with the Firestorm anymore. <laughs> Crystal Spear's alright, but it's better with the Roots. So I gotta grab a Tambourine. That's the closest I've got to some Roots. Um, if I hate the Brilliance. Against their revolve, that will help because I got tons of both of those. And it's usually easy enough to like predict where he is so that I can put those on before I meet him. If I don't, I can just teleport out and then I know where he is so I can put on the buffs. Um, it's weak, isn't it? Uh, maybe not. I tried to just bash again, it did nothing. Oh, because the majority of my bash damage is fire damage, isn't it? Because I'm hitting with a Staff of Fire. No wonder it's doing nothing. Maybe that Staff of Conjuration with Fire Resist on was actually a slight improvement after all. In fact, it would actually work better with the Crystal Sphere. It's a shame I didn't bring that one with me, but I didn't think it was going to be useful. Can I just Crystal Sphere this, dude? I want to test it out. Tandy 12 damage? That seems alright. Well, I know what the boss chambers is. These metal walls, um, yeah, these are the boss chambers. I'm just going to go around the outside, get an idea of what sort of shape, what I've got here. Now, if my shield line's fine for this fight, because uh, it doesn't really matter anyway. It's like you fire storms anyway, so... <laughs> All right. Problem is actually determining exactly where he is. Let me take a look at this. He's going to be pretty much in the center, I think, of this one. I shouldn't go too much further in, but I gotta get rid of some of these dudes. So 
especially that brimstone fiend with its uh, damnation is probably its worst thing because it can't give me all the torment. Okay, so um, is it time to buff just yet? It probably is because I'm fairly noisy. He's yeah, he's just on the other side of that lava. So, oh, put on my buffs anyway. Haste, brilliance. I gotta put on my form though again before I fight him. I don't want to be tormented by all the things he summons in. All right, let's go. Channels of magic to make up for that stuff I lost. There he is. Can't hit him with a crystal spear from here, but oh well. It's actually not the worst because he's um he's trapped behind that area. So I can just keep on firestorming him a few times. Uh still channeling. Good, good. Did he just die? I mean he could just kinda of got trapped there while I firestormed him repetitively with haste, so I guess sure. I uh, don't care about slaying. What else have we got? I mean, we've got the rune. That's my. Is that my second pandemonium rune? Oh, I'm obviously hitting the wrong key. So I got three more. I got the dark one, the glowing one, and the magical one. The magical one shouldn't be too bad. I need to put on some buffs as well for it. Um, but oh, I should crystal spear this guy. The magical guy's all about like ice and stuff. Oh, bring a fire and intelligence. That's it's about the basic ring of fire as an option. Uh, staff of earth. I don't care about the resist electric or I definitely don't care about the resist poison. Plus the air fire during an armor. Nah. Gloves of. I don't care about the resist corrosion. Um, Dex is nah better with the two armor class than my current ones. Oh, actually, I should carry the round. My Dex is a bit low. I should take that into hell. Um, I don't need the cold resist shield, right? It's flight, right? See why I'm keeping that one around. Um, I yeah. Right, I don't need lignification. I might keep the cold resist, but I probably can drop the cold resist shield. Because if I put on that ring of fire, it might technically be one cold resist short, but that's probably perfectly fine. Um, if it goes like Kursiders, it's probably perfectly fine. All right, uh, let's try the next level. I got all like the the walls with mouths and stuff on them. It's like a Sega Tuvas themed level here. Uh oh, what's this dude? I have run out of magic points as well. Plasma. I might just uh, might just start a teleport then get my magic points back and then okay, sure. <laughs> End up in exactly where I was, but oh well. I'm not too worried about teleport scrolls because we got what, like 30 of them or something. Uh... Oh, died. Uh, I feel odd for a moment. Oh, I'm contaminated. I think I was contaminated or something, maybe. I don't know. Or did. No? Yeah, I think I was just contaminated. I don't know. Oh, here's like the theming. It's not a rock wall, it's a wall of the weird stuff that makes up pandemonium. <laughs> I mean, the stuff that makes up bad emotion is pretty weird. No, oh, there's, there's a way through now to be able to take the one to the next level. I wonder how its hardness compares with like different kinds of walls, though, because uh, technically the different walls do have different hardnesses. I think when you examine them, it doesn't tell you, right? I mean, it tells you you can dig through them. Uh, I don't think it matters for most purposes, but... 
It does for shatter, like how uh, how many shatters it takes to take them out, just based on their hardness. But if they're diggable, that means they're like super soft, I think. And you could just instantly shatter them. I think it's rock equivalent. You haven't seen any way it diverges. Yeah, I think it might be. I mean, yeah, you can dig it, so. Oh, we're barely help about you. Okay, there's uh, Skalorx blog. So he likes to uh, likes to surround you with executioners and then dispel undead. Um, he also has torment and miasma and stuff. So you do want to be a lich for even if he has dispel undead. I do want to buff up. I think if I buff up, he's gonna be pretty weak. Like if I go in there with haste and brilliance, so I don't run out of magic points. But yeah, I do need to buff. Um. I also need to get him wherever he's hiding. What is that thing? Is it uh, invisible? It must be like a shadow race or something? I don't know. Whatever it was, it wasn't very tough. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I think it is a shadow race that you get on this level. Because the uh, lore of Cypricus don't exist anymore, right? Is that correct? They got replaced with, like, the Sin Beast. Like, the Hell Beast and the um, Lord Cypress got fused or something. Oh. I might hide here. Just channel some magic. Wait to mark out. That was remarkably for you creatures, given I was marked. Oh, whoops. Yeah, it's a Shadow Wraith. It slowed me down. Three decks? I want three decks. Give me three decks. Uh... I have to like reactivate my talisman and stuff, I think, to get three decks off it. But hey, let's give it a try. We got nine decks, twelve decks. There we go. That's pretty good. Yeah, I mean that means uh that gets me to the point where I'm unlikely to get drained to zero and go through the hell, so I probably want to swap desperately to my gloves or something. Which is definitely nice. Um That's pretty obvious what corner of the map the boss is in, because there's this one unexplored corner. I should head that way soon, as soon as I get some magic points back. <laughs> Which might be a while, we'll see how this goes. I'll channel some more. Lore Cypher, because I'm currently out of trunk, it's not a change that's hit stable yet. Oh, I didn't realize it was quite... Oh yeah, that's true. We're actually pretty close to a new version of the game, right, hitting stable? Like, uh, what is it? I think it was planned before the 30th of this month. Like maybe a few days before. Because that's when the tournament's planned, I do believe. So, <laughs> it will make it to stable soon. I sometimes forget like how long, uh, long this trunk's been going and a lot of things haven't made it to stable yet. That's... Oh, there we go. That's where I need to be. I feel like I go strange. I hadn't seen the boss chamber. Challenge of magic. This is not going to work otherwise. I don't think these 20 healing potions will do a lot for me. I mean, sometimes you can end your form and heal up and stuff, but... I don't know, there's only so much you can do with a bunch of healing potions. When you're in lich form, uh... Curse Girls are basically just like not that powerful summoners, right? They're kind of like at the moment because they got the immunity to torment. I don't know if their summoners do something, but they don't seem that powerful. What even are they? It's not like shadow creatures, it's something else. Summon undead, right? If it was summoning shadow creatures, it would actually matter. <laughs> Because then they could bring in like brimstone fiends and that sort of thing, which would be a bit tougher. 
All right, well, this is uh, this makes it fairly clear with the bosses. You just go straight down and you see the boss. So let me just um, haste. Where is it? Brilliance. Fall back up and head straight down. Any second now. There he is. He hasn't even noticed me. Yeah, I, I didn't really need my buffs, but I wanted to play it safe because I got so many buffs, I'm not going to get through all those. All right, next level. Where is it? Uh, glowing and magical. Magical is fine. Glowing is going to be the harder one. Like, it won't get mal mutated, but they did buff it up a lot. Um, at some stage, it was still kind of tough for that buff. What's this guy got? It's got a like, funny little head. It's got like a beak. It's got like a duck head. I one resistance to fire. What else does it do? It knocks back people and it's quite fast. I have a lot of magic points right now, but it's probably fine. It's going to have to make its way through my fireballs these at least. Um, I was actually doing pretty well making it through my fireballs these. I might just have to use the random blink spell. Put me somewhere a little bit better. I could crystal spear, but I think I might random blink. <laughs> okay, uh, can I get Crystal Sphere in that? It's probably a good chance of hitting. Oh, 40%. Is that like maxed out on this Vagin or something? <sighs> it has the bag like fully into Vagin. Okay, sure. Uh, I could just like grab a Tambourine it. I might. Because that lines up really nicely for the Firestorm. Imagine finding your way up the Demon Society for years and someone's first impression of you is, Hi, it looks like a duck. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting insulted by just a random dwarf that's burning his way through pandemonium. That would actually be kind of funny if it was uh, like a little dwarf dude. Well, not really, but it would be kind of funny. If, like, just imagining a little dwarf dude telling a bad body of Lord that they look like a duck. <laughs> uh... I need plate armor. I was like a little mini uh, Glorix Block level. Of course, there won't be a Glorix Block in here because he's already dead. Um, it'd be funny if one of the bosses, like, if you took their, like, stole their room and moved to the next level and then they turned up on one of their own, like, little boss rooms. That would be really funny. But I don't think I've had that happen. Or I might have had it. I don't know. Can't remember it happening. <laughs> But this character is not about stealing runes. I just burn up the Pandemonium Lords. Um, oh, and also run myself out of magic points doing so. Oh, those funny themed rooms have a name in the room codes. They're called guest houses or something. They probably do. Oh, you think they could guest houses? Yeah, they, they they feel like they should be guest houses when the pandemonium lords come to stay, right? How do you actually get the names of vaults? Isn't there some way you could do it? Like, can you get it from a dump file or something? I'm not sure. I know there's some way you can uh, see what vault you're in. I'm just not sure that this it would be kind of useful information for giving some bug reports as well. Uh, what 
we got here. I'm running low on magic, so no fire this. That's something. My best could do a lot, but it's on 0%. <laughs> it's always funny when things are bad to body blocks have something to target willpower, because I feel like most characters have good willpower by this point. Not every character, but most. So a lot of the time it just does nothing, and then certain characters it probably does quite a bit. All right, next level. Come on, give me a rude level. I mean, I guess it's all like uh, extra XP, but I don't want extra XP. I want runes. Uh, bog jaws? I can't use bog jaws in uh, Brawl Revivification. I think there's other bog jaws ones. Hey, there we go. Glowing rune. Uh, I won't magic map, but I will try and find my clear out some of this area before I can. Oh, maybe I should magic map. I don't know. Like, it doesn't matter the mile mutate. Oh, hey, this is a boss. Actually, I think Firestorm's pretty good against Manolik, right? Just trying to stay back from that malign gateway. Actually, yeah, Firestorm's absolutely just wrecking Manolik there. Oh. So there's one character that's perfect for this level. It seems to be this character. I've had so many characters recently struggle to get through here. Oh, wait, I'm still, oh, still channeling magic. Wasn't time to refresh it just yet, but that's fine, I guess. Uh, pretty much know where the rune is. It's uh, well, there's four of these things, right? And it'll be in one of them. But I, of course, have to actually be able to get to those. I had a marked on. I'll put it on the channel magic. Got it if I marked. Uh. No, that one's just a ring. See, I don't want to go in there yet. I want to wait off the mic first, because otherwise I might get, like, trapped in a bad spot where I can't fire someone properly and stuff. Um, I'll get a little bit closer. There we go. No, oh, wow, they were in a good spot to burn the ball. Uh, I'm not looking at mic, but it's just the uh, things trickling in that got attracted by the mic. There we go. So we got AC resist corrosion minus three dags. Willpower resist negative resist electric. Uh, I don't think I need to resist electric. I don't need to resist corrosion anymore. I don't think that's actually that good. I'm at some stage it might free up an extra ring if I take off the wizardry one, but hey, maybe I just keep the wizardry on if I can't find nothing better. Saves me specking a bit into some skills. Um I should actually try putting on a bigger shield now, shouldn't I? Got 18 skill. There we go. All right, let's give it a try. So, uh, protection. 8% failure on the fire storm. Oh, it's probably fine. Uh, oh, that's right. I can enchant artifacts. Huh. If I get some money, which I might have. Yeah, when I get out of here, I'm going to buy these and charge up, charge up all my artifacts. <laughs> I should have charged these gloves. I, I forgot about the draw's ability to charge artifacts. It doesn't matter at the moment, but... <laughs> All right. I better keep going on the shields. Um, and then after that, I'll try for a slightly heavier armor. Like the gold dragon armor or whatever, just because I got that one and charged up already. I just do have a way off here. I should just go take it. Uh, which rune next? So it's a magical rune next. Should be fine. High shield of poison resist? Sure. I feel like so many characters don't struggle with poison resist at this point in the game. Although if you did, you're in kind of a lot of trouble. Because there are some pretty tough things that do poison in here. Oh. Why is my willpower lacking? Ah, oh, stretch my willpower. I might, um, I might teleport. Get that one back.
But I don't actually need to be here. I can just take the portal right. Ugh, marked, sure. I'll stand back. Dick, I'm sure getting marked, you just didn't use to have a force mod. That's really nice. It, it makes a lot of sense. I don't think I changed my RC options either. I think that's just a thing now. Maybe those all have force mods now. That would be nice. Um... <laughs> Oh, whoops, I stood next to this guy. Um, could use my random... No, nah, I won't use my random blink to get away from it. Just burn it up. Chainmail is plus six. I don't need some chainmail. Uh, good old chainmail. I mean, my armor is actually a little bit heavier than chainmail, I think, already. And it's already plus six and stuff. Uh... Hey, there we go. A magical rune. Waiting for that one. Uh, the boss will die really quick, but I'll still put on my buffs. I don't think I can fly, so I gotta be a bit careful with the water, but it's probably still fine. I mean, I guess not a, what is it, a polar vortex could still send me flying. <laughs> not quite the sort of flight that I'm after, though. Um, uh, radiated again, I don't know, that was probably, I should have just firestormed it. Or crystal sphere, I guess, the first time round. I don't think it's the next room. I think it's the one after right. That's the boss in it. Yeah, this one just doesn't have a boss in it, but I'm going to need to put my buffs very soon. Right, now might be a good idea. Let's do it. So I'll put on haste, uh, brilliance, my form again. Oh, uh, I'm not quite at the boss chamber. No, I'll just keep moving. I should get there reasonably fast. Oh. Okay. Let me just... Oh, I know this polar vortex. Uh, oh. Still fast, still brilliant. Okay. Uh... But it's not glaciating me as much. That's not too bad. I think it might have died. I certainly looks dead. All right, let's go steal his rune. What's this dude doing in here? Crystal spirit. It's got to get that close to me. So my conjuration is doing just fine. Um, I might get a. I really should get some more fighting, but anyway, let's get uh, get a little bit more shield to get fighting up to. Oh, I'll just do sixteen for now, but I don't know, my health is fine. It's just I, I do I should get more it's cheap, and health is always good. Should I just try on the gold dragon arm? I should, I think. Uh, I maybe want to get out of pad mode, though, because uh, it's just swarming me. That tends to happen though, once you pick up runes, you just get swallowed with random junk, uh, like junk creatures. Okay. Uh, I'll do the whole of the level. I'm looking for a portal to either the abyss or completely out of here. Uh, that was my last rune, right? Yeah, it was good. Got nine of them. Well, last pandemonium rune, not last rune in total. Still got six more runes, I think, to go.
Right, well, there was nothing here. Um, <laughs> uh, no exits here. I'll check out the gloves, plus one. I've got the got the gloves that's going to charge up to plus two and turn them into a plus two gloves of deck. So it sounds like kind of nice. Uh, I can't do it just yet. i got to get out of Pandemonium first. Oh, minus fire resist. Oh, this guy's not going to live very long. Yeah, look at that. Round to a crazy dwarf pyramids. <laughs> uh, I think I've still got the pyramids the title, which is uh, <laughs> not the one I'm going for, but hey, it's fine for now. Uh, let's go out of here. No, don't don't go out of here. I want to find the, the proper portal, right? Funny how you actually get demonic crawls like in Pandemonium. It makes sense. I mean, they are meant to be demonic, right? But it's just kind of funny because they're kind of not the toughest creature by the time you get here. Hey, there we go. Pa uh, no, the Abyss. I should be fighting the Abyss. I mean, it's the same sort of thing as Pandemonium. Um... <laughs> Just channeling magic where I need it, killing creatures where I can. Or maybe I should be using my crystal spears though in here probably, so I'm a bit more quiet. Because making noise just attracts and unneeded creatures. Um and I don't want to spend all my time fighting oh creatures so I don't have to um oh, I think I killed both of those I don't know <laughs> don't think this dude can make me sick when I'm a lurch I'm pretty sure it can't <laughs> Hey, there we go. Finally a way down. Let's just go take it. I might challenge some more magic as well because I'm out of that. Uh, loss of the god who alters. Hey, there we go. Another way down. Uh, oh, yeah. I'll take another way down, but that's probably... Oh, I shouldn't take another one. This is as deep as I should go. Level 4 is just fine by me. <laughs> Oh, it's draining my magic points. Of course it is. Uh, sometimes I have to fire some of these guys. They're not the best. Because um, they split up. And once they split up enough, they paralyze you. I don't think it paralyzes too long, but it can still be pretty lethal if it happens at a bad time, because there's always lots of them. Oh, really? Way down? Again? Wow, okay. Well, there's no problems going down this time around, because sometimes going down can be tedious. Just trying to find a way down is just not happening. Um, I might get no longer slowed if that guy quicksilvers me. I think it did. Take the way out, but like I'll just go back in anyway. Although before I do that, I should go buy the whole um Chant Armors. Uh do I buy the Brilliance as well? Just for the just because I can. <laughs> Actually I can't. I can I can only buy these ones. Okay. Sure. Uh I don't know what else do I want to do? I can chant up gloves, I guess. Those are pretty good. Oh, hey there, the Electro Shark. Thanks for reading in. Let's see if I can give you a shout out there. How was your stream today? I hope that uh, went well. There we go. I think the shout out worked. You've come to find a character um, doing hells. Well, about to do hell. Actually, no, I've still got some bits to do. I'll drop the old buckler. 
that's not going to compete anymore. Also, I can drop uh, gloves as well because I got the better ones now. Um, I'll try and take gold dragon armor. Oh, 12% fail on the firestorm. How much armor class did I gain from that? It's, only, it's not even that much, honestly. Like, I, I would lose 7.6 armor class and gain 5 evasion if I, take, uh, if I go back to my other one. Yeah, I think that's, that's going to have to wait a little while before I go to the gold dragon armor. I mean, it's nice armor, but definitely going to have to wait. I need the protection. I've still got the ring of fire. Oh, the evasion is literally zero with it on. <laughs> it is. Uh, what am I lacking? I mean, my strat's pretty bad. That didn't help. Uh, 14. I don't know what else I'm lacking. To make it work, it must be something like that. All right. Um, can I put on this ring of fire? 10% fail on the firestorm. I'm talking to that. I mean, the end helped quite a bit. Um, bring card ranges up to 26.9. Um, spellcasting up to 15. I think I might go with this. I doubt I can resist, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, am, but that's fine. All right, let's go to. Oh, I gotta go back to the abyss, don't I? I gotta finish that one off. Good thing it puts you like back at, at the lower levels because I feel like uh, at some stage it did used to do that. It used to put you back at the start or something. I remember that being a thing when I first started playing. Oh, someone's a dead fish there, the Electro Shark? Oh, but I'm not a dead fish. Or is that a, is that a game that you're playing? <laughs> well, this character is very much a. Uh, I mean, these characters are actually technically dead, right? Because they're all undead, at least. Uh, do I want a way out? Eh, not really, but I'll, I'll take it. Go to the next region that way. I got chewed up by some fella's dog? Ooh, that's, uh, that sounds pretty rough. No, I mean, people definitely need to keep their dogs under control, right? Uh, what's that? An angel? I should get rid of that. Uh, is this the right way? I think this is just going to lead me perfectly where I need to go. And that's not too bad. This might look bad, but I can just burn them all. Look at that. <laughs> so much Galera. <laughs> gotta, gotta love the, the fire. Oh, oh, don't drain my magic points. Come on, dude. Don't take my ruin off me. I think I can import it. It was, uh, it was saying it was going to time out. There we go. I've got my ruin. Uh, so what do I got to do now? got to get out of here before I run into any problems. Oh, I love Evelation. Yeah, like certain situations, it's just such a fun spell. You just uh, blow it up. Like that would have been so much harder without a bit of Evelation. Like you could have done it with Firestorm. It just would have taken multiple Firestorms because not everyone was grouped up nicely. Uh, that, that's a gateway leading out. It's not leading deeper or something. There we go. Um, so I've got tendrons, I think, and I gotta go to hell. I think I want to get. Oh, I just want to get those skills. Let's go to hell. I wish I had like shatter or something on an entrance like that. You know what I might do? I might just dig this way, and hopefully no one will stand and um. Yeah, I think this is fine. So many of these guys are fire immune, but I'm still going to burn the ones that aren't. There we go. <laughs> Dude's just destroying my walls, sure. Oh, I could dig again if I need to, I think. I 
Now I just gotta sit here and channel magic every time I get low, I think. And I should be fine. I love when the hells like give you the wall slide and it makes them so much easier to get it. It's powerful, yeah. I mean Yeah, the walls are walls are really powerful sometimes. I don't know. <laughs> Doing the forms and thing and hiding in the walls. Well, I don't want to go first in terms of hells. Like, I could do the ice one, right? I have no um, flight, which is a little bit of a shame, but I'm lich form. Uh, I got firestorm, which is pretty good. Character might never get shatter. I don't know. So if I want a tidal, I probably can't. Um, actually, I do want shatter. I could just never wear gold dragged armor. That's also probably an option, and then maybe I'll be able to get the shatter. Um, I don't know, Firestorm is like, you can't complete a game with just Firestorm, so I'm thinking, I think I'll get Shatter though, it just makes the Iron City of Dust so much less painful if I have Shatter, um, because at least I can, uh, like, Channel Magic, Shatter, that gets rid of a lot of the guys, um, like the Iron Golems and Hell Sentinels, all that sort of things. I like how Potions of Flight are twice over impossible for a Legend Cositus. <laughs> can't drink them because you're a Lich, can't drink them because they're frozen. Yup. I mean, it's probably fine as a mage to not be able to fly. I know some characters need to be able to fly to get up to enemies and stuff. Uh, channel magic, whatever. Yeah, I mean, that's how slow fire summons are taking it. The uh, Iron Golems, it's not too bad. It does the trick. It's just, I want Shatter. And I think as a dwarf, I've got, like, plus one aptitude and earth as well. Um, and I've already trained, like, what, 16 or something? Yeah. Uh... Shields are still going around, makes sense. Yeah, all that stuff is helping with my spellcasting chances. Um, I just let those do what they want to do. I will go into... Actually, I'll explore this area fully, and then I'll go into the Cositus one. Actually, uh, the other one I could go into is... Uh, what's it called? Tartarus, I think. <laughs> a, little, a little miscast, but hey. I think that was another miscast. It's 8%, so it, it's got a bit of a improvement to go on it. <laughs> I think the shrikes are going to be some of the scariest things in here because, um... I do have a shield, but, like, I don't have massive physical defenses. They're, they're like, decent ones, but not massive ones. I just challenge more magic. I don't think Sif Mart is mighty. I'm still on five bits of piety. Yeah, I mean, that's probably the reason Piety goes up faster later on is because you're not getting books anymore. I don't think I've got a book in quite some time here. Uh, where's the summoner? There it is. I could have been either one of those guys. There's the summoner. Oh, do I channel more magic? I probably should. I don't know, I was almost making it without channeling in magic, but I think there's still guys coming along. Yeah, there are. 
Actually, my party's going up, so maybe I don't need to worry so much about channeling magic. Uh, how do I? That would hit the most strikes, I think. I'll uh, burn some strikes. There we go. With my other burning. Of course, I'm always burning things, but I'll burn them with the. Uh, what's it called? The other one. The uh, ignition. Feels weird having to like walk around the long way to get everywhere. Like I had to uh, walk around the long way to avoid the water there. I mean, I don't have to walk that much further, but um, some of the hells do make you walk quite far. Oh, marked. Uh, I should put on the channel magic pretty quick if I'm marked. I'm, I don't care about the tormentor. Um, I don't want to get rid of the other guy though. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not really doing any damage. It can stay next to me if it wants to. <laughs> I think it's like 7 damage of melee or something ridiculous, right? It's, uh, oh no, 2 attacks of 8 damage. But, like, that's not even going to get through my armor class. I'm not looking by, and I'm pretty sure this level's like out of creatures anyway. <laughs> yeah, there was literally out of creatures, they all came along towards me. Oh, that's um A lot of dudes, they're mildly spread out, but I might uh Why stuff I fire something those ones? I'm gonna emulate some of them. Alright, this is not too bad. Probably get rid of some um, wind to go down here. They do the short duration paralysis. I also need to get rid of this dude next to me. Everything is fine, but there are shrikes up here that I need to burn up. I don't like that one. I'll probably just uh, crystal spirit. There we go. And everything's clear. Good. That the entrance was doable. Some characters like to like blink to the walls and fight that way, but this is not one of those sort of characters. This is the sort of character that will just fight from the center of the screen effectively. Uh Yeah, because the ones that blink to the walls tend to be more melee characters that try to hide in the walls and fight things one at a time. I was one of these little uh is it octagonal or is it... What is it? I think it's got... How many sides has it got? Eight, I think. Yeah, I think it is an octagon. And it's got layers and you make your way towards the center and there's a boss in the center and they got the rune that I'm after. This one's always pretty easy to know where to go. It's not one of the ones where you can kind of get lost trying to search the level frantically. Uh, Shields is doing well. Um, down to four percent failed the firestorm. That's not bad. That's uh, that's yeah, that's way more reasonable. So I'll get shatter. I'll do, I'll do it. <laughs> Let's make it happen. And like firestorm's good and um. Tomb as well, but chat is kind of uh, often a little bit better depending what you're fighting. And having both of them is ideal. Also, there's water in the way that I can't just fly over. Okay, let's walk around. Ah, it's a serpent. Um, I think this one's fine. I mean, it's almost dead already. So obviously, it's fine. That's a lot of miscounts for a 4% failure. It was like, 
Uh, I don't know. Maybe I thought at the time I was miscasting that. <laughs> Might have even been over at the time. It's quite a lot. Um... Should be reasonably careful. I think I'm getting quite close to the boss now. Um, he's actually not going to be too bad with Sif Mata because I just chatted with magic. The main uh, like problem in here is running out of magic points and like that's solved with Sif Mata. So you don't want to let him get next to you in melee, but I don't think he's going to be too bad. Also, his uh, ice feeds are also usually a problem because they torment you and I'm immune to that. There he is. What's he got on them? Wait, really? Nothing? He usually brings along a couple of items. Yeah, you can see his melee attacks are quite nasty, like uh, 75 uh, physical damage followed by 66 cold damage. He takes again for 30 physical followed by 66 cold damage, so... They could add up. Um, but his range attacks aren't so bad. There we go. Wait, is that making me go... No, it's not making me go too far. I think it was going to make me go all the way around to the other side, but no, I can just slip in here and grab the rune. Is that a... Oh, it's the cloak of the thief. Um... Maybe. It's, it's quiet, which is really nice. Because then you could do, like, quiet firestorms and quiet chatter. <laughs> quiet chatter is hilarious, but anyway. Uh... I won't wear it here because I've got a cold resist cloak on right now, but outside of here, that's probably a good idea. Also, I can go and charge it up, I think. I've still got some enchant armor left. As a dwarf, I can enchant up. Wait, no, it's uh, it's not a rad dart. It's, uh, it's a normal artifact. Uh, an unrad dart artifact, one of the set ones, so I don't think I can actually enchant it. Never mind. But it's only like two armor classes. It's quite really nice. I think I, I think I go swap it. Our two int's kind of nice, but whatever. I'm going to do it. Let's be silent. It's funny how it's called the one of, like, the thief, where it should actually be, like, the the, robe, the, the cloak of the mage or something, because it's only mages that really like it. Uh, <laughs> in fact, thief characters make, like, stabbing characters make such little noise that it, I mean, it helps them a little against enemies make noise, but it doesn't help them that much. Whereas really, really noisy characters like this would benefit from it a lot. Let's get, let's get Shatter. 9% fail. I need five spell levels. Um, yes, let's go look at these ones. Mm, Starburst or Hellfire model I can probably get rid of. I get rid of the Starburst. It will get there eventually. Uh, on its own time. And there was also some enchant armor that I left on the ground. Oh, wait, I'm carrying it. Right, yeah, I can't. Couldn't charge my current armor. What's that charge up to? <laughs> I might as well. Huh. Plus 11. All right. I mean, that's probably just as protective as a gold dragon armor. Let's take a look at that. <laughs> I guess uh, this gives two more... Yeah, it's actually kind of more protective. We are not wanting to wear plus uh, 12 gold dragon armor. That's craziness. But I, I've already got 14 strands, so I guess it makes sense that I don't want to wear it. It's just super crazy. Oh, hey, thanks for following the uh, raccoon outlaw. I appreciate that one. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. And if you're playing Cruel, I hope it's treating you well. But if you came in with a rage, you might not be playing Cruel. Oh, where can we go? Is this Tartarus? It's gotta be Tartarus. Yeah. What are these little emotes? <laughs> I've never seen those ones before. I don't think I... don't think I follow that channel. Oh. Oh, they like little raccoons. That makes sense. Maybe. Wait, are those raccoons? Probably.
I don't think I've ever seen a raccoon. I'm not sure. I don't know if they live in New Zealand. Probably not. Anyway, let's go down. But they're kind of like possums, right? Sort of similar thing. I don't know. I could be entirely wrong on that. Uh, I should go down again. Oh, look at those silence like right next to me. That's the main problem with Tartarus with Spellcast is the silence. So some levels, I think there's a level that's completely silenced. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Like, if I find the sign race, it's fine. Uh, it's melee, I guess. But there's one where there's like a silent race trapped in the center that you can't even fight properly. And it's just such an awful level because it silences up the entire thing. Um, it feels kind of unfair, but I mean, you could probably do it as a melee character. I'm just not sure what mages are supposed to do. I haven't got that one for ages, which is probably a good thing. I'm not even sure it exists anymore. It might, uh, might have been removed. But there's so many vaults, it's like hard to tell if anyone got removed. Because, uh. Yeah, you're not likely to get it in a row. Or even, even though, like, you play a few hundred games, you can easily miss a single vault. Or even, a, even like, a thousand games, you could probably miss a vault. Um. <laughs> I guess that's just how random chance works, right? Like, something might just never come up. Oh, what's happening to me? Oh, dropping a floor, that's fine. Dropping a floor is usually not too bad. The problem is if it drops you down to silence, right? Um. Otherwise, it's kind of... I mean, I guess it could theoretically drop you down to bad time, but I don't know if I've really had that happen, because... Usually you uh, kill everything around the staircase and then you start exploring, right? And then it drops you down. So. Not too bad. I mean, it does cut you off from an escape for like a staircase out. Uh, you got to be careful with this boss that I'm coming up to because they do silence. Uh, what do I actually want to do to them? I mean, I, I want to do a haste potion before I fight them so that I can run away if they do silence. It's actually quite a big boss level, if I remember correctly. Like, a big boss room, so it's hard to... It's hard to know when to put your buffs on. Um... Oh, I'm held, aren't I? That's fine. The one thing I can do is bring in a desert middle right next to me. Um, should be some more desert middles in here as well. Uh, okay. Actually, I know exactly where the boss is there. She's sleeping like right here. So if I just take off my death talisman, drink a haste, drink a... What is it? I want... Uh, I think I want a brilliance as well, just in case. Just because I got so many. There we go. I'm surprised she like slept through everything. Although I do have a cloak making me more sound. There she goes, silencing me up. I think she's reasonably fast at moving as well, but I killed her with the firestorms because she's got no fire resist. It's just the whole danger of getting stuck in silence and her being faster than you when you're not hasted can make her incredibly dangerous. Except usually she just falls over and dies. <laughs> Oh, that was a silly place for that fire. So I got one creature when I could have got both of them. Um, how's that shadow going anyway? 30 um, something percent failure. Nice. Um, I won't do the Iron City of Dust yet, like the next one. I think if I do one more hell beforehand, actually, I might do the um, Tomb of Angels beforehand. That's probably a good enough shadow percentage to do the tomb. I don't really need to go here. I've already got the rune. Uh, I have a, do I have a stuff verse somewhere, right? Like a better one? 
Oh, that one colors this. I don't know. It's basically the same thing. I, don't, I mean, I guess I'm liking a little bit colors this, but it doesn't even matter anymore because I've done the cold hell. Right. Um, let's go to tomb. I've got everything I need. I've got uh, decent armor class. I got the lich form. Yeah, I got everything. I was tip bottom to channel and magic, so I'm good for that respect as well. Okay. Shadow open the walls and let the mummies out. Although I might not go all the way through that wall. There we go. That should let the mummies out. I definitely shouted through the wall there. Have I been slowed yet? Not yet. I couldn't just keep retreating back, but I'm not actually <laughs> running into any problems. With the, with the mummies and summoning these scorpions. That's probably it. That could be a thing with these fireball seeds. Like, uh, someone will see one of the fireball seeds that you've summoned up, and they'll decide to start summoning things, and then they'll come into screen, and you'll have absolutely no idea what the summon is. So, uh, there's a slight downside to summoning in creatures. Um, it's not, not really a massive deal, but it's, it is a slight downside. Generally, the fireball seeds are, like, really nice, because they make it really hard for any sort of melee creature to get up to you and all that sort of stuff. Even some of the range stuff is going to, like, have trouble shooting through. And it can block certain spells as well, having fireball seeds in front, because they just can't shoot through <laughs> all your fireball seeds. So, generally, it's a really nice thing. Um... <sighs> I don't know who summoned that one again. Oh, not the, not the one I killed. It was apparently a different one. I should go clear out like the walls fully, I think. And then because then I can just take one of the um what is it, one of the down staircases in the walls, because those ones one of those will go where I want it to go and the other will just go into the center or part with all the mummies. I gotta get marked, don't I? I'd be surprised if I didn't. Um I didn't, okay. <laughs> well that uh, yeah, I'm definitely surprised about that. Those were not very smart mummies. Like, it had a spot there that could have marked me and pulled in all the mummies. Might have even cost me a teleport scroll, which doesn't matter because I got, like, 30 of them or something. Oh, how many do I have? 31. Um, this one's got a decent chance to take me down where I need to be, but I'll take take a look at this side. It might be symmetrical. If it's symmetrical, you can't tell which one you need to take. Uh, could usually it's one near the outside, out of the two portals in the walls. Oh, right, well, I guess I'm marking myself up this side around because I have to, to. I could have actually shattered my way around, but it doesn't matter. I'll just channel magic and fight anything that comes along. Oh no, that one's uh, that one's the one near the outside. Uh, yeah, like that one's kind of a bit inside, and of course the uh, one right on the inside is not going to go where I want. Um, so I reckon this is the one I give a try. All right, uh, do I buff up? I don't think I need to buff up. I just go down. Oh, it's the wrong one. Uh huh. That's fine. I need to head back. Which way? This way. I could probably like emulate some guys, maybe. I mean, yeah, I mean, those guys are like fighter boy. I could have fought them, but I didn't want to. 
Okay, where's the other way down? It's uh, got to be this one. 100% chance this is the right one. Yeah, there we go. And that gets me to the place with all the staircases so I can go down to the third level. Um... Like that's the way down the third level, but of course I'm gonna want to buff up before I go down there because that's gonna have even more mummies. That's the uh, that's the kind of the ridiculous mummy spam one, right? It's the third level. Oh, decomposing one of my contaminated. My decks are looking a little sad right now. Six decks, it's probably still fine. I don't know if I got anything to buff it up with. Actually, all my attributes are looking a little bit stab my enters as well. Oh well, uh, hopefully it'll be alright. There's not much I can do because I don't really have any items or decks or anything. Anyway, let's put on haste. Brilliance. I'll put my death form back on, of course. I'm gonna try and teleport into the center. That's not the center, but it'll do. Oh, there's menace in here, isn't there? I gotta take him out quickly with the firestorm, um, which will be completely fine. I can do that. The problem with menace is he casts silence. Yeah, there he is. And then once your silence up, well, I mean, I died to a single firestorm. You can't cast anything while silence, so you've got to do something about it. Um, am I fine with that little fighting? Probably am. Okay, let's just get invocations up to twenty-seven. Get a title. Ah, shadow these dudes. It's better than risking hitting myself with a firestorm. Where's an area with less traps? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking right now, because there's kind of a lot of traps around. Um, I don't think there's actually many creatures left on this level. Honestly. <laughs> And one of these, oh, what's happening? Malevolent Force is doing whatever. Oh, Lump Trap, sure. I don't care about that. Uh... Oh, there can't be anything left, because yeah, uh, Malevolent Force didn't pull anything in. There we go, got my golden runes. I'm on 13 out of 15 of my runes. Uh, I should, oh, okay, I have inventory rune to pick up a ziggurat, sure. Any of these stuffs good? Just poison. Minus magic points? Nah, it's not that good. Regen armor? No, I got the magic regen one. I keep that one on. What's that manual? A curiosity. Manual fighting. Oh, I should get fighting. Let's do it. I got a manual on it, right? It's like half cost, so I should. Uh, I'm done. Let's get out of here. Right, so let's get out of here again. So I need to go to... There's a couple of hells left, I think. So I've got... Um, Gehenna on the Iron City of Dis. Shadow's good, right? 5% failure. Down a little bit on strength. I think it goes down to 4% usually. That's not bad. Yeah, let's go, uh, let's go to the Iron City of Dis. What's Shatter? It's G. Not bad. And I can channel in magic and then Shatter stuff. The problem with Shatter usually is it attracts a lot of creatures, but when you can channel in magic, like, it doesn't matter. Also, I'm kind of not that noisy with it, am I? Uh, well, over half of my noise bar, you can see, is filling up, but... Hey, relative to what Shatter usually does, that's not too bad. And it feels like cheating just, uh... Blasting the guys on the other side of the wall there with Firestorm. They couldn't do anything back. They were stuck in there. Oh, I dropped two floors. Okay. Uh, that's channel magic. 
A bit worried about the strikes, but I think everything else is all right. Ooh, wait, that's not good. I unfortunately hit myself with the firestorm there. Um, I'm going to have to... What can this dude see? <sighs> Further than I'd like. Um, I'm going to have to blink back. All right, that's fine. I'll do another shatter. Just worried about these two uh, guys in here with their Quicksilver. They die pretty quick, but... Oh, I need to start the channel a bit earlier. I'm sure it'd be fine, though. I can hide in this corner at least. Oh, it threw a dragon at me. That's fine. I should probably kill the dragon with some crystal spears though. Honestly. Okay. Uh, let's get a little bit closer. The shadow will take it out. And I just keep on heading, like, further and further into this corner. This draw, I'll try to get a little bit of life back, but it seems to be going all right there. Yeah, okay, so that was the time where the shaft actually made things worse, because it put me in a bad situation. And I had to use a blink, but I got, what, 10 of those, 11 of those left? I'm fine. Uh, let's go down again. It's funny how Caustic Strikes are one of the toughest things in here. Well, kind of. Well, because because they come in groups. So individually, they're not that bad. Despite being like a reasonably early game creature, I couldn't radiate. Uh... Alright, next level. Go down again. What have we got? That's fine. This guy... He's got like iron shots. Um, this is fine. This guy's got damnation, but it might not actually be able to do it, because it might might be blocked by some of the other guys in here. Oh, I think I miscast a shatter. Um... Whew. That's actually way too much stuff. Let me just... Oh my goodness, that's way too much stuff. Look at all these hell sandals, because those all have hold down damnation. Um, right, I'm going to have to blink back this way, I think. That's, yeah, that's kind of ridiculous, actually. But if I'm in this corridor, it should be fine. <laughs> the Iron City of Dust is uh, often lead to last. I think I left it till second to last, because it's just kind of tough. Um... <laughs> Uh, wait a turn, let them get a bit closer, because, uh, oh, there were, um, fireball season here blocking these guys for a little while. What is that, a crystal or a chin that's shooting all those crystal spears? I thought it might be like a stone giant or something. <sighs> Got me with a damnation as soon as it went into view. I think those guys are a little fast, so they can't do that. Um, I should probably shatter. Huh? <laughs> How did I miscast again? <sighs> I guess it's 4% miscast. I'll toss away my manual finding. Um, I might just bring that to 21 instead of 22. Right. Yeah, the invocations is probably going to get where it needs to go, but it's, uh, what, almost 20, and it's going to get to level 27 by... By when? By the time I've done one more level of this hell, and I've done another hell afterwards, so it's probably fine. Uh, actually, I'll fire some of these guys. I know Shadow's more effective on them, it's just there will be multiple guys around here. There'll be guys on this side as well. 
am I missing fires or something? Or was my fire storm just like super high powered or something? Because whenever I hit myself with it, it's like a ton of damage. What is it? Oh, the eighty seven percent power, right? It's got a really powerful fire storm, I guess. Uh, I can probably shatter now. What do I do against these guys? Can I just crystal spear? It's not the best chance of hitting, but it does work. Alright, I pretty much just... I'll imagine we have this level. I've got tons of those left. But I pretty much just gotta go straight to the other side of the level, almost certainly. Where's a... Yeah, nine <laughs> revelations. That's ridiculous. Yeah, where's that Hell Sentinel gone? Don't want any surprises, this Hell Sentinel jumping out of the bad time. There it is. Alright, slowly make my way towards the other side. Very slowly, very carefully. I'm gonna blow my way through these walls as well, which is well attract some stuff. Um What am I meant to do with strikes here next to me? I mean I can move back here and then fry them. I think they're actually quite resistant to that. They're like resistant to the stuff I'm doing. I mean it's fine, but they, they definitely do resist everything I do. Because they're flying so the shadow's not very effective. Um the firestorm kinda works on them though, but that doesn't work the best once they get up to me and they're really fast, so they get up to me super quick. Oh, good. I think I've popped open that um, corner there, which is great because I'll probably end up going through that one. Uh, I'm out of magic. Um... Right, so where's the boss? So, actually, I might not need to fight this boss. I think the rune is, like, right here. Um, once, as soon as I break that wall open, I should be able to see a rune. <laughs> Which the chat is making some progress. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and then I can just airport the rune out of there. And be on my merry way. Oh, I should probably channel a little bit of magic. Um, oh, the boss noticed, but hey. He's not going to catch me. I'm already getting out of here. Wait, that hell sentinel's faster than me, is it? No. Oh, it's just random energy getting some extra turns. That's a shame. Anyway, let's get out of here. So I need to get the fiery rune. That's fine. I mean, there was a fiery one. I'm still going to use fire to fight fire, which is not ideal, but it, it works. Um, anything else I want to do? I, oh, the invocation I got like three more to go. That's fine. Oh, because of my plus three aptitude is making that super speedy. That makes sense. No, mounted dwarves are definitely good at the whole worshipping God side of things. Uh, do I just shadow these dudes? I guess. They're all, um, all ground based, so. There are non-ground-based things here, like the Ice Fiends, so I gotta watch out for those and go burn those up, specifically. And technically, that guy's non-ground-based as well. It just flies around, I think. Right? But, yeah, the, it was definitely flying.
All right, where's the way down? There we go. That's made pretty swift progress. So this is my last rune, right? So once I get through this, I'm... I don't know if I want to... I don't think I want to do, like, any other server bonus areas. I just want to continue my streak with this character. But they probably could, like, do a ziggurat, maybe. I mean, there's always risk with ziggurat. Um... Like, unless you're, like, one of those players that are, like, super good at ziggurats. Just do level after level after level. Pretty sure that's all that some players play is, like, just ziggurats. Uh, I'm gonna get marked, but it's fine. Just get rid of the Brimstone Fiend. Uh, so fine. Might just crystal spear these guys, because nothing else I'm doing is very effective. All right, time to go down. This is I'm a level four. I got to get down to level seven. It's kind of strange how the house have seven levels. They used to have nine, but that was like even more tedious. Hey, there we go, Master Invocations. I'm a genius, the arcane, but that doesn't help. I've had that title. Uh, actually, that oh, the reason my armor's not doing so well is I don't have much armor skill. Right, <laughs> bring that up to twenty. I think. Um. Uh, that, yeah, that's why the, like, the super heavy armor wasn't any more to help of, uh, what I'm wearing right now, which is decently heavy. Alright, this is the last level, so, I should just head to the, actually, I don't, I don't recognize it yet. I don't fly either, but I should just try and head to the boss. Um, I have a rec I have a feeling the boss will just be in the center of this level, and it's one of the ones where you had to, like, go over lava to get to them. There's a way around for people that don't fly, so I'm gonna just go take it. Wherever it is, it'll be around here somewhere. There we go. Yep, the walls won't stop this character getting somewhere. Um, not even the strongest of walls, basically, but uh, a simple bit of lava that's gonna stop me in my tracks. But I guess it makes sense that walls don't swap, stop a dwarf, but lava does. Uh, I'm in the lower magic points right now. That's actually not ideal. Um, I might just step back, but one of these guys got to throw damnation or something. I didn't, but... Okay, that's the main thread over there. It's also immune to fire, so the fire storm's doing half damage. The disadvantage with this hell is uh, in Lich form you can't drink potions, and then in this hell you can't read scrolls, so... Yeah, that's why I left it till last. I don't have any of my consumables available, unless I end my Lich form, um, but then I'm vulnerable to being tormented. My... Try and not shatter for a little while. I don't know. Actually, no, I might just shatter. It's just, uh... I'm gonna be breaking over these walls. Um, I think the boss is really close, so I might put on my buffs. Yeah, but the thing these Brimstone Fiends would have been with the boss. Guarding it, because that's often the case. Alright, let's, let's do the buffs. So, I need a uh, haste so I can run away. And also attack fast. And a brilliant so I don't run on the magic points, although it's less important. There he is. As uh, Modius. Um, I guess I just firestorm him, right? If he gets close, I crystal spear him, but otherwise I'm just firestorming him. Kind of, is he like the Lord of Fire or something? What actually is his name? Oh, his title. Let's see. Oh, he's Prince of Gehenna, so yeah, it doesn't even give him that. But he is all about fire. 
<laughs> he just died to firestorms. That's funny. Anyway, let's get out of here. Oh, right. Dudes. Trying to stop me getting out. Excellent, that's my last rune. I've got um I got some of Zod 5 to do. I had bad trap layout, but that doesn't matter. I can just shatter through the walls. I might go with it's a lot of the spousal traps. It's a lot of Zod traps. I might still go with this side, it's near the staircase. Uh, suppose some sort of advantage. When it comes to running at least it is. Uh Shadow doesn't uh, work very well on the fire, so I'm going to have to fight the orbs of fire with fire as well. It's just working really well because I got on such high power. Like, kind of ridiculously high power, actually. It's not as high as, like, a Ziggurat character would have, of course, because they can get it to 100%. That's fine. I'll start channeling some magic. This would have been tough if I hadn't have already done extended because it's given me a decent amount of orbs of fire, bad trap layout, so I wouldn't have been able to chat my way in without doing extended first. So, hey, it's a good thing I'm specifically going for extended games at the moment. Um, let me just go check that I haven't got the Quasal title. I'm going to have to find some sort of title, one of the low piety ones. I think I've still got a few other ones, but the Quasla one's the easiest to get. Let's see, where is it? Uh, Quasla should be on here somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> Definitely not up there. It should be further down. Try one? Wait, where? Oh, there they go. So, mishap. I'm going to have to check if I got a Minotaur mishap. Not Minotaur. Mounted Dwarf. <laughs> Uh, that's not right. I need to say S equals title on my bot command there. None of those are mishap ones, right? So I got Blasphemy or Bringer of Blasphemy, Cryomancer, Baluster, Barricade, Cataclysm, Catastrophe, Initiate, Mary Dwarf, Metalomancer, Red Stapless, Unifier, Who Eyes the Stars. Yeah, okay, so I haven't had a mishap. That's probably the one to go for. No, I could just, like, airport the rune. I might do, go do that. And Pandemonium Lords were not amused, but um, I've kind of killed off the Pandemonium Lords already, so it's got to, got to just be the random ones. Alright. Oh wait, where do I want to go? Um, where's Quasal anyway? Let me just go search for them. Are they just in the temple? That's level 10, apparently. Uh-huh. Oh, whoops. Ah. <laughs> I shared it over the vault here. That was a bit of an accident. I'll get rid of the ghost moss because those drain magic. Um, I should probably go around. Right, armor's doing well. Ah, uh, what do I want? Just more armor or whatever. Doesn't really matter at this point. Um, I shouldn't have shattered over the vault, but I'm sure I can go around this way. Ah, uh, there's the ghost, but at this point it's probably weak. But it's just a little melee one. But I maybe should have come back for that one at some stage. Uh, but I, do, I think I completely forgot to come back from Ghosts this run, but that's fine. I got some pretty good gear, so might not need it to. <laughs> Shadow the walls open, I guess. That would get me through. Oh, Seraph. I'm in Lich form, I might just run for the staircase. Because um, I'm vulnerable to its holy wrath. Let's not fight that one. Uh... 
Okay, let's make the swap. Unfortunately, Sifmon and Rats is not the best, but oh well, I've got blinking scrolls I can get out of here. If need be. Um. Oh. <laughs> right, Sifmon and Confuses. Um. Hold up. Might do those out of Lich form. Because that way I can drink the curing if I need to. Oh, I'm already at the exit. Um, mishap. I'm, everything's great. Let's get out of here. Okay, it's another victory. I can add to my streak. No, the dwarven ability to chant up um, artifacts is kind of handy. Because I... Oh, I couldn't... Oh, I couldn't chant the hat because it's a... Um, it's a set one that's not a rand up. But still, I got to use on my body arm. And I think I got to use on my gloves as well. Never got the best rings, but hey, a ring of fire was pretty good. Go with that fire storm's a pretty good power. Yeah, getting an artifact death has been, I didn't need to resist electric, but three decks was helpful. It made it, uh, in fact, it got drained down, what was it, all the way to like five or six, so it was actually helpful. Um, I still have tons of blinking left here. Yeah, I had all the consumables, like, what? 20 on healing potions, nine taste. Because I was a lich bomb, I was to get 10 brilliance, okay, sure. Anyway, that, uh, that's another win. How long did that one take? About six hours. I don't know. I mean, actually, that's reasonably fast for a mage. Mage does tend to take a little bit longer. Alright. Um, I should have should have added to the streak. It's not my longest streak yet, but it is my longest streak of extended games. Yeah, it's up to... It hasn't counted yet. It's up to nine games after that one counts. Um, oh, are they all with different gods or very repeated gods? I repeated the shining one, of course. Makes sense. 